and Lulu just took the show over. Yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you're, my. you're not a lap dog, Lulu. <laughs> no, she thinks she is. Run. She wants to be in the show. Run. Yeah. Hey, come on. I lost. You mouse. How's your booty? Thank you. Welcome. As you see, we got most everybody here. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Well, Kenny's somewhere. Ken, Kenny was here. I don't know He's where. He's probably he... going to get his cat. Yeah, Kenny. I yeah, think he's going to get his kitty cat. His cat. <laughs> so he said he'd be right back. Yeah. And he should be here. Got Kenneth there, Fordman, a.k.a. Kenneth. Yeah. We've got Roy, Roy and, and Becky, Becky from Roy and Becky's Roy Travels. Yeah. Right here. Hey, Woo. Kenny. Howdy. Howdy. we got a problem. Our right. cat is not showing. But Justin and Christina were in our chat saying hi. There's nothing there. And of course, we're missing Mel and Nettie tonight. They won't be here. Um, but they didn't want me to tell everybody hello. Uh, as if you've seen their last video last Friday, uh, they have bought a piece of property and they are busy moving into that. So they will not be here tonight. So let's go up here and see who we've got in here tonight. First one I see here, Going Green Mom creates. Welcome, welcome. The Gypsy and Vanilla. Oh, Gypsy and Vanilla Raid. All right, awesome. Hey, hey, thanks for raiding awesome. us. Awesome. And Catherine Cook. Catherine Cook in the house. Hello, Catherine. Party welcome. time. <laughs> party, party time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's Mel and Nettie. Wish we could be there. Have a great night. TGIF. Howdy, howdy. Oh, she's putting that in everybody's. In everybody's chat. And hello, Chrissy Mama. Hey, welcome. Hey, welcome. Welcome. Oh, Come on. Hey, hey, she's not here tonight, but she'll see it. She'll see it in her replay. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah good morning. Chrissy good Mama's morning. over there in the yeah. Philippines. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Controversial cru Cruising. Right. Welcome. In here to show sport. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. Oh, you know what's behind you. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Kenny, Kenny saying hello in his other channel here, Daily Dose of the Bible. Oh, look. Terry's yeah. here. Hey, Hi. Terry. Hi. <laughs> Welcome, Terry. Hi. 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 Yeah. I'm trying to get the walk reversal. Come talk out. <laughs> Justin and Christina's RV van life. Hey, welcome. Hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Happy Friday. Yeah. All right. Catherine Cook, you get an A. You did you her do, homework. You homework. <laughs> did you do extra credit now? Yeah, did you get the extra credit? Yeah. And the real Robert Rockwell. Hello, welcome, welcome. Okay. Uh, uh, Mel, Mel and Eddie must have their night bot going. Got the night bot going. You type in the hashtag your YouTube channel name and it'll post the link. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have one. Yeah, we don't either. And we don't either. <laughs> There's uh, Justin and Christina saying hi to Roy and Becky. Howdy, howdy. Hello. Kenny, he should be back. He said he'd be right back. And Rashaya, welcome, welcome. Howdy, there's Have you. Yes, yeah. And Kenneth Bird. Kenneth hey, Bird. welcome. Welcome, welcome. People just saying hello. It looks like we're at the bottom there. Welcome. All right. Right. Hey. Robert Rockwell. Yeah, Robert Rockwell. Yeah, I saw him. So glad everybody's here. I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to play. Tonight's lineup, even though Mel and Nettie are not here, we are still going to do the same things that we do every other Friday night. Keep everybody entertained. Hopefully, everybody did all their uh, their homework and came up with what they uh, were supposed to. But here we go. Here's tonight's lineup. <laughs>
Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. I love it. I saw your hair down today. You're live, and I was like, I haven't seen your hair down ever. I don't yeah. usually keep it down. Yeah, I don't look hair on my face. Yeah, it looks really pretty so, though. Thank you. We, we kind of missed it. She went in there for a little bit, but we actually drove to town today. Yeah, we went to town and did errands. We had to go run some, buy some stuff at the store. Yeah. So. I missed it. I know. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but we'll get the replay on it. <laughs> hi, yeah. Oh, people you're... saying hello, hello. Diane's in here now. Hey. Oh, hey, yeah. Hi, Diane Phoenix. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for popping. Hey, Diane. I'm going to go ahead and put this banner up. Yeah, if you could come over to our chat. Tonight we got donuts, and oh, yeah. I made chocolate. Yeah, we went and bought donuts. <laughs> We're going to lunch tomorrow with some friends, and they are far away from us. So I was like, well, we need something easy for breakfast. And we went to town, and they have this, the best donut shop ever in Cookville. So if you're ever in Cookville, go to Ralph's Donuts. <laughs> they are so it. good. They make these butter knot things. Yeah, they're like twist, but they're butter flavor. Ah. Uh, uh. And then they make red velvet donuts with cream cheese. Oh, <laughs> so come on over and we'll share. <laughs> Click on that link you see at the top of everybody's um, channel. At the top of their chat. Uh, we, and on that note, yes, on that we're note, make it, we're getting really, really close really to close. our watch hours. Yes. We are down as of this morning, which said that that was updated as of last Sunday. We are down to 128 watch hours needed. So we are we really appreciate all that y'all are doing to get yes. us there too. Thank you so, so many much. people in here have really been watching and watching our videos, and we really appreciate it. We really do. And um, Nettie told me today, once we do hit our three thousand hours, we're going to have another celebration night on Friday. On Friday night on giveaways, Friday night, and we will have some giveaways for that <laughs> night. So that'll be coming. You know our thing night will be one of our mugs. Yeah, there see, you go. <laughs> I love that. Um, I need to win that. Oh, I probably our, can't win, can I? <laughs> our goal is is we're trying to get there before we leave here. Yeah. And right now, tentatively, we're planning to leave here May third. Yeah. So that's just roughly two weeks, just a little over two weeks away. All right. We got so, a few things we got to take care of here, so you know. Yeah. So that's our goal. By the time we leave here and hit the road and head north again, so getting everything done here and wrapped up. Yes, let's start. We're going to call it our new season. That's right. <laughs> when we leave here, it'll be our new season. It's going to be a, a season of work camping. Work camping. We're going to talk about that and have some videos on that to help people when they're looking for jobs so they can have some tips and ideas of oh, what we do. Hey, hey. Lexi says oh, hi. Oh, hey, hey. To our granddaughter. Yeah. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Bug. Yeah, it's uh, so fun that she's here. It's crazy. Our uh, son sent us a text today. Yeah. And our oldest granddaughter is actually out looking they at went they're at the college they're at a college they're down out. at uh what's she what are they at to van lake um vanguard they're looking at vanguard today so yeah they're going out checking out colleges and stuff yes yeah, like wait a minute she graduates next year she's got a year left of school but you know you got to guess pick all that out before that gets here yep so that's our goal. That's why we got to be back out west there next spring. Yeah, Vanguard. Yeah, they're looking at Vanguard. So, and it's in Costa Mesa, California. <laughs> Wherever that is. I know they live in California, but probably we're, near we're the beach. <laughs> we're trying to convince her to look at a college up near Spokane because that's where our son lives. And she can live with him yeah. and save on money. You know, it wouldn't cost her uh, nothing. Whit Whitworth. Son. Yeah, Whitworth. Whitworth. Yeah. Yeah. She's okay. only looking at Christian colleges, so. so yeah. I think, well, I think Kenny's never yeah, coming back. I know Kenny got lost. Yeah. His cat probably got outside and he had to go chase on it or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Too funny though. So what, have y'all been up to anything else, Ryan Becky? Not really. Uh, working on solar issues. Again? What? So frustrating. Yeah. I fixed it. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh, I was actually the one that did the work, though. I hit the button. Oh, hit the button. <laughs> I wasn't touching nothing, but I said, what's this thing here, dude? He goes, I don't know. Pushes the button and goes out and starts the generator. We and tripped now charger. A, we tripped the charger on the uh, inverter. inverter. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I went looking for fuses and couldn't find it. Couldn't find any fuses. And I thought, well, I think we killed it. Killed the charger. 
inverter still works, but the charger wasn't. So I brought the other lithium charger in, hooked it up, got through the night with that. Well, till I ran it till midnight to get them up full. Yeah. And uh, it's a little 20 amp, but it was only charging at 10 amps. Oh, wow. I ain't called for that, but that's what the computer called for, I guess. So then the following night, I'm getting ready to hook all that up, and Becky calls me back in here because I went to get the charger or something. You already and had the charger in here. You went yeah, outside, I went yeah. outside for something. You went to check the plug to see if the plug was the issue. Yeah, I've been checking wires and everything. And right. Oh, God. back in here, and she said, hey, what's this white button on the side of this inverter for? <laughs> and it was sticking out an inch. I want you to touch How I overlooked that and missed it, I ain't got a clue. I pressed it. It stayed in. I went out and started the generator. Come back in here, and the thing was charging. I've got, oh, yeah. I've got, nice there you job, go. Becky. There you go, Becky. Yeah, I've got a. I, I made I him do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we tripped the circuit breaker a couple of times on our inverter. Yeah, yeah. And of course, it's out under the base. So I have to go under there and reach up under there and there, press it, it again to reset it's it. It's me that always does it because I forget, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I've seen y'all done some hiking, a little bit yeah, of hiking. Yeah, was that fun? Yeah. yeah uh, we went, seen some, what are those things called? Intaglios and. An old mill and you and Tim's been out more than I have. Yes, a couple ruins and then uh yesterday we went over to the Scadden house. Nice. Got that video, exported it, but now I gotta delete it and go back and I forgot to add something to the video. I didn't so see it. Gotta yeah. redo that. But that'll schedule us up on the rate parade up until the seventeenth, I believe. Yeah, I saw you had all them scheduled out. That is so, really yeah, good. that's awesome. Yeah. yeah gonna try to start doing some videos in between there too yeah yeah a little regular what goes on in camp video stuff like that right. uh, your granddaughter will be in middle school oh what Ain't that crazy? yeah that's crazy. <laughs> i know it i think we might have one going in middle school what? my grandkids are going to the same darn buildings i am i did yeah that is not right Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, what's crazy is our oldest grandson in October will be 20. 20? What? Like, oh, my God. <laughs> I can't even believe that. I know. I can't either. So, our daughter Woo. went to Gonzaga. My yeah, so we talked about Gonzaga, but um, because it's a, I think it's Catholic faith. I think that's why they're, they aren't looking at it. It's religious, but it's I think it's Catholic faith. Yeah. Well, as I know, it's our sons of Gonzaga. I hate the Gonzaga fanatic. nut. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they go to the games. They took our granddaughter. Our granddaughter plays basketball. She's seven. She plays basketball. And um, went and she's not seven yet. She's going to be seven. She plays basketball, and they took her to a women's Gonzaga because the men's was too expensive. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Well, I think we're going to move on without Kenny. Yeah, bye, Kenny. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we're going to do the games. That cat must be hiding look really good. I know. Maybe he forgot to eat dinner. I don't know. Hey, Misha Lee. Hey, Misha Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank you hey, Chrissy. for popping in. Chrissy Mama. Popping in and out. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, thank you. Let's move on. Let's go to, once I find my videos. Hey, there's Steve, Desert Adventures in Arizona. And hey, Steve and Oki. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah, just popped howdy, in howdy. Here. Ah. Hey, Steve, welcome. Appreciate Thanks for it. coming. Yeah. Did you do your homework? <laughs> <laughs> what was homework? Yeah. Homework was to watch a video. Oh, video. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was from our live. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. We might, we're, there might be. A first that has happened on yeah. this planet Earth. Oh. You might be the first teacher that got me to do home my homework. What? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I love it. Oh yeah, that was well, that was oh I hated homework. <laughs> I know. Well I would never do it and still get straight A's and all my friends hated me. <laughs> That's well I wasn't straight A's, but you could have been. I just did the I minimum on purpose. Uh, yeah. He could have if he applied himself. I was one of those ones that always did my homework like the night before, you know, like last minute. Yeah, I love yeah, last minute. We'd, we'd have something that, you know, we've been assigned for two weeks, and the last night I'd be working on it. I like to do it that I way. I procrastinate. Yeah, um, the big assignments, I would do that. 
yeah. Yeah. Papers, stuff like that. Right, yeah, the big papers that you had to turn in. They even do turn papers anymore. I don't know. I haven't been in. Yeah, everything's on the computer now. They type it all up now. So there's not a lot of that's, handwriting yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's the problem. Because I'm telling you what, I got fifth graders that cannot. You uh, used to have fifth. Yeah, graders. used to. That cannot write. They can't they write can't, anything. I mean, you can't even read their writing because yeah, they're, they're so they're so used to the texting and computers. It's just it's craziness. And then on the computers, they don't even know how to use spell check. <laughs> yeah, you have to teach them how to use spell check and grammar right. check. Oh my god! All right. He's just asking a question. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what would I rate a few good men on a scale of one to ten? Man, eight pushing a nine easily. Yeah, that was a pretty good movie. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't believe you never watched it. I know, that's where you never watched it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Steve. Yay. Hopefully, hopefully we don't break your TV. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move on. Let's go ahead into the fun fact. Fun fact. I don't even know what it's about. Me either. I have not. Nettie put all this stuff in here, but she has access to my stream yard, and I have not even looked at it, so I have no clue. It's, it's new to me. <laughs> all right, here we go. about pigs i don't okay. know <laughs> pigs waller in mud whenever they have the chance as they don't have sweat glands this helps them to regulate their body temperature keeping them cool and discouraging parasites wow see i know <laughs> so is it i didn't know pig about facts i knew that i knew that they're uh, yeah i knew that they're um they, they didn't have sweat glands but I didn't know that about discouraging parasites. Right. That's crazy. I know. Oh, look, it's oh, a Steve, no space Steve. more. <laughs> I can do it just fine. Thank you very much. And I don't even have. <laughs> hey, that actually looks pretty good, Steve, compared yeah. to what I've seen. <laughs> yeah, you, at least I can read it. It's, you know, they wouldn't have spelled them words the correct Other way. people saying hello. Yeah. More true. High. No, this is not. This is not <laughs> true. This is not true or false, Diane. <laughs> true. <laughs> and Oki loves piggies. Oh, piggy, piggy, piggy! Is that the trivia is going to be all about pigs? I didn't see. Uh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> the fun facts started out with pigs. Oh. All right. Next fun fact. All right. Pigs are not too much different from us wait a minute what <laughs> pigs are not too much different from us genetically pig hearts valves are used in humans now i knew that that was one of the first transplants wasn't it i don't know i think that's the first transplant they took a pig heart and put it in a human hmm i don't know i have to ask nettie she's saying we're are we pigs <laughs> <laughs> Right. Next fun fact. Next one. Hog was slang for an old shilling. To go the whole hog was to spend all your money at once. Huh. I kind of heard something similar to that, but it wasn't said go the whole hog. I'm not like heard, hog wild. I've heard hog wild. Go hog wild. That meant to spend all your money too. I've heard that before. Anybody else have heard of that one before? Slang to, to go the whole hog. I've never heard that. I've never heard to go the whole hog. I've heard hog wild. Huh. Yeah. Just trying to go back and forth checking my comments. I know, here. right? Make sure we for don't miss weird, anybody's great sayings. For some weird reason, it usually pops up and tells me when I have a new comment, but it's not doing that tonight for some weird yeah. reason. Yeah. So if we miss your comment, we're sorry. Yep, I'm trying to keep up with them. <laughs> it's like when I do them drive lives. I, I have a lot of respect for Nettie that does this every Friday. <laughs> I know. She is good with this stuff. Let me tell oh you gosh. what. All hey, right. what is next? Pigs do not need to be rounded up. A good yell will bring them running. 
They have a vast field of vision, but are unable to look up. I disagree with that. I ain't never had a pig that comes to me. Well, they don't know you. <laughs> they always run. I don't know. You know how my grandma got them? Because they kept a bucket under the sink full of slop. And they'd run out with them slops. And she'd be like, here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Right? And she'd be suey. And then drop it. And they all came running. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do that when I'd go there. She let me go feed the pigs. My grandfather, um, he like slaughtered pigs. He had a pig little farm thing going on there. It was gross. But <laughs> <laughs> they ate good all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they had a cow to milk, chickens and pigs to eat. Oh, well, there you go. Sweet. Just think sins. <laughs> Call on the pigs. Call on the pigs. Sweet, <laughs> hey, there's Mark. We are no, not no, Mark. Mark uh, wrong person. Yeah, we can already. And hey, I had hey, Mark on the mind because he put a video out today. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Welcome, we welcome. So welcome. glad you're here. Hey, we can RV in. Hey, James and Millie. James and Millie. That's who it was. I was like, I don't yeah. remember their names. Thanks for being here. <laughs> yeah, that's how we call our pigs too. Is here, pig, 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 pig. Right. I mean, yeah, but yeah, I won't do it like I used to. But Suey, Suey. then he'd bang on the on the bucket, and they'd come trotting. Yeah, they knew when their food was coming. I knew that's right. Yeah. So awesome. All right. All right. Next, pigs are among the first animals to be domesticated about nine thousand years ago in China. Asian farmers first brought domesticated pigs to Europe 7,500 years ago. There are approximately 840 million hogs on farms throughout the world. That's a lot of pigs. That's a lot. And of I pigs. want to tell you, of all the animals, if you're ever on the road and you see a cattle thing coming by, we've been by chickens, sheep, uh, cows. The funkiest is pigs. Ha, <laughs> ha. When they drive by, that is nasty smelling. <laughs> they smell. <laughs> All righty. All right. They have 44 teeth and 15,000. Who counted this? Taste buds. <laughs> Humans have 9,000. They can drink up to 14 gallons of water a day. Man, that's all three of our five-gallon jokes. Yeah. That's a lot of water. <laughs> you don't want to get bit by a pig either. I guess yeah. not. I didn't think. I didn't know that they drink that much water. I didn't. I'd never see them drinking water. They have always just laying in the mud and eating slop. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the pigs are used to find truffles. truffles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, he is. Told you. Funny. Okay, at least it's not about snakes this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm still wondering why she did pigs. I know, right? I do want to ask her this. We're going to ask her. Yeah, he said pigs smell very piggy. <laughs> okay, see, that didn't tell me I had a new one. Yeah, yeah. pigs smell very piggy. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. See, it is not telling me I have new comments. I have to keep going back and checking. Right. Pigs snuggle close to one another and sleep nose to nose. They dream much as humans do. In their natural surroundings, they spend hours playing, sunbathing, and exploring. <laughs> I can yeah. see them sunbathing, though, because they ain't got no fur. <laughs> yeah. I've seen them a lot of times where they're always practically laying on top of yeah, each other. Yeah, they do love to get really close to each other. Like at the fair. We see them at the fair a lot. That's the main place we see pigs nowadays. And they are always kind of squished on top of each oh, other. Look, Catherine says, Iowa is the state of the most pigs. Oh, Mama has what? a t-shirt that said, it's raining cats, cats and, and hogs. hogs. <laughs> I, didn't know that, I didn't know Iowa had the most. That's wow. wow. That's cool. I would have never guessed that one. I would not have either. <laughs> yeah. I have seen some people that actually had pigs as a pet. Yeah, so have I. So I told, I was telling her, I wanted, I like pigs. One, they got these little ones you can have, and I was like, can we have it in the RV and pretend it's a dog? But there's a lot of campgrounds that are fun, funny on that, so. Yeah, usually it's a little hot belly pig. It's a little tiny, they got little tiny ones, but yeah, I want them. I think they're cute. I think pigs are cute. Yeah. Stinky, but cute. Got a lot of people are saying hello to each yeah, other. so awesome, glad. Awesome. She-Devils, thank you for coming in. 
Yes. Oh. Hey, she devil. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Yes, yes. Hey, she devil adventures. Howdy, howdy. Mm -hmm. And people saying hi. 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 All, All right. right. Let's see what's next. The largest pig on record was a Poland China hog named Big Bill, weighing 2,552 pounds. He was so large, he dragged his belly on the ground. His shoulder height was five feet, and he was nine feet long. So he was like as tall as me? That's, That's a say. lot of bacon. That's, That's a lot, a lot of bacon. You <laughs> can't really get that big girl all fat. Holy nine feet long. He's Thank three you. feet taller than me. Longer than you, yeah. <laughs> How big the ham is. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Holy. <laughs> 2,500 pounds. My God. Ooh, that's a big old pig. Well, he'd be dragging more than his belly. Right. <laughs> Especially since he's a boy. <laughs> Steve Ooh. says, we visited my sister in Northeast Iowa. Their pigs smell like money. <laughs> yeah, buddy. They, I bet they can make a lot of money now. My grandpa didn't make a lot of yeah, money. Yeah, real Robert. I believe. I agree. A lot of bacon. Right. Like a sumo like wrestler. Like a sumo wrestler. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yes. Glad to hear that. I'm so glad you're back. Glad to hear that. All right. Next. Okay. An average pig eats five pounds of feed each day or a ton of food every year. I could eat that in pizza. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> well. I felt like I ate that today. I know. Uh, we ate too much today. <laughs> we ate too much today. <laughs> we did. Five Let's pounds see. of feed. Wow. That's a lot. But I don't know where they get because that little bucket wasn't no five pounds that we gave them. Yeah, I don't know. Did Was there misspelled on that last slide? We didn't type these up. Was it? I don't know. No. No. <laughs> Are you talking about the comment? Maybe. Oh, oh there, 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 there pigs. Okay, yeah. I see it now. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Didn't catch it, Steve. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. We didn't do our English <laughs> teaching jobs. <laughs> All right. Next hey. one. A litter of piglets is called a pharaoh. Newborn piglets learn to run to their mother's voices and to recognize their own names. Mother pigs sing to their young while nursing. Okay. Er, <laughs> recognize their name. Who named them? <laughs> Who named these pigs? I don't understand. So, if I named them, you know, Larry, Mo, and Curly, they would come to me. I don't know. I can't never get a pig to come to me at okay. all. Is it <laughs> is their mother gives them a name and they recognize that name? I have no idea. <laughs> Just like that's because it much. says it run, they run to their mother's, mother's voices. voices and recognize their own names. That's crazy. Maybe that's pig talk. And who the heck? That's another government study. <laughs> another <don't know>, government study. Because <laughs> I'm like I'm in like what? <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> yeah. All right. Next I don't one. Know. All right. There are about 2 billion pigs on earth. In Denmark, there are twice as many pigs as people. What? Holy smokes. That's a lot of stinking pigs. And this, some people can't eat pigs because they're like, there's like that religious thing where they can't eat them. Huh. Yeah, I've heard they're smarter than dogs. Yeah. Justin Christina says pigs have been known to be smarter than dogs. I've heard that. Huh. I have heard that. Have you heard yep. that? <coughs> yeah. That's why they make good pets sometimes. Well, they can smell truffles out. Yeah, I think I'm going to truffle. <laughs> I need some truffles. All right, next. Pigs communicate constantly with one another by grunting. Their squeal can reach up to 115 decibels, three decibels higher than the sound of a supersonic concord. There's people in here probably don't know what a concord is. <laughs> No, nah, I think most everybody here knows what a concord. You think we're all old enough? <laughs> well, I don't know if Kenny was in here. We got yeah. Kenny. Do you know what the concord is? No, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay. I told you. Well, I told welcome you. back. Anyway, did you find the cat? <laughs> no, no, no. It was uh, 
it was uh, my one of my neighbor's daughter that come over here and was wanting to know if uh, if uh, something that her mama had ordered uh, had uh, had been delivered here at this house because uh, the person that uh, used to live here before me sometimes they get delivered their mail over here so oh. but, yeah, it hadn't been delivered so at least i hadn't seen it okay you you, you have your pants on i hope right yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> yes right? i do i do <laughs> Anyway, Concord used to be a super fast plane. It could get you to Europe, like in the. Go from like, Europe to New York in just a matter of a few, couple hours. A couple hours or something couple like that. Hours. Look at the speed of sound or something. Yeah, it yeah, was the speed, speed of, sound. of sound. Yeah, pretty close there. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, they're all mothballed though. Yep. All right, next one. Pigs can run at at the speed of at, at speed. speed. Oh. At speed. Okay. <laughs> Pigs can run at speed of up to 11.5 miles per hour and have a good sense of direction and can find their way home over great distances. I believe that because I've seen the pig races. They've had pig races. Yeah, we've seen pig races. And then, you know, that movie. What was that movie with the pig in it? You know. Which one, Charlotte's West? No, no, <laughs> no. <know. laughs> Where the pig's name is Pig. <laughs> You'll do. Okay. No, I know which one she's talking yeah. about. Where he goes into the city. Yeah. Oh, cowboy. No, Wait. it's like have... a, a family movie. It right? is a family show. Oh. <laughs> babe, that's it, Mr. Babe. Yeah, babe. Oh, babe. babe. It'll do. Yeah, daughter used to have to watch it all the way to cry. Yeah. Oh, having dinner. You have to tell us what you have later. Don't tell us yet. <laughs> hey, Kenny, there's a question for you. Uh, did I find slacks? Slacks? <laughs> I got I got my sweatpants on by, by PJs, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, yeah. Misha, Misha Lee says. Babe, yeah, you babe. knew what I was talking about. <laughs> I always when I come in from being out somewhere and I, I know I'm not going anywhere the next day until later on, I usually Try to shed my clothes off and put my PJs up. <laughs> yeah, <be comfy. laughs> That's too fun. All right, next one. Pigs do not eat like pigs or pig out. They prefer to eat slowly and savor their food. They eat mainly tree leaves, grass, ferns, roots, fruits, flowers, dead insects, worms, and tree bark. Well, then where the heck did we get the thing like pig out or eat like pigs? I don't know, because my grandma gave them slop. Anything that we didn't eat went in that bucket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then, throw, anything, throw anything in there. <laughs> we clean the garden out and throw the, the bed, like stalks, you know, yeah. the bad fruit, watermelon, tomatoes, right. they eat all of it. Supposed they to be the best way to hide a body. Not that I know, but you know. I know, right? It's the body out there. I know he ate that. <laughs> my dad used to tell a story of a man getting ate alive. So I believe it. Yeah, right? I wouldn't doubt it. I don't know. There was a guy in a movie that squealed louder than three decibels. Bingo. Buddy, howdy mm. doody. Mm. I don't know that one. Uh, there's Kenneth saying hello to Facebook. Ah. So I'm guessing it is still on the 22nd. We no longer stream to Facebook, right? As far as we know, yeah. On Monday, right? Yeah. Yep, I haven't seen any more updates on it. Yeah. So you're saying that uh, I won't be able to stream on the Facebook anymore? Not after the 22nd. The 22nd. Not from StreamYard. They're not liking each other. They're breaking yeah. up. Something, something's <laughs> going on between StreamYard and Facebook, and StreamYard will no longer be allowed to uh, stream to Facebook as of the 22nd. I didn't so, know. Yeah, yeah no. Facebook's not allowing it no more. Yeah, they're not friends no more. They're breaking up. All right, next one. Pigs are very intelligent. They are curious and insightful. Animals who are widely accepted as being smarter than young children of at least three years of age. Dogs and even some primates. 
I can see this. I can see them that's being. That's why they make the best bacon out there. Yeah. They're smarter than some kids out there. That's for dang sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially as of late. That's for sure. Huh. Yeah. Hands as they eat. Pigs do not eat teeth, but every other body part, yes. <laughs> All right. Next one. Wild pigs play an important role in the ecosystems. By rooting and disturbing the soil, they create areas for new plants. They also spread fruit seeds by dispersing their seeds. Mm, does this mean pooping? Like birds do. <laughs> <laughs> that's why there's blackberries everywhere because of birds. <laughs> huh. I think that's what that means, right? That's so spread by dispersing their seeds. I, I think it means guess. pooping. I, I think it means by pooping. I, uh, I guess. Yeah. Oh, no. So they nice can fertilize these. <laughs> yeah. All right, and the next one. Pigs are very peaceful animals, rarely showing aggression. The exception, as with many animals, is when a mother or sow with her young offspring is provoked or threatened. She can protect them babies. I don't know. I've yeah. seen some wild ones get pretty mean, though. Well, the wild ones. I, I, uh, wild, wild ones you don't even want to mess with. Right. We've seen a herd of them when we were coming through to, uh, to Lake Tawakini. Lake Tawakini. We've seen a whole herd of wild pigs. Yeah, they were on the side of the road. I guess there's a lot of them. I don't think they were called pigs there. I think they were called boars. Boars, but boars. same thing. Boar and a thing. pig. I think same thing. Yeah, know. we've seen a whole pack of them up yeah, there by Tawakini. Cool. I'd never seen them like that, except for when we were in um, Louisiana. I've seen them in Louisiana like that. When we were feeding them alligators and marshmallows, remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey. that was in Louisiana. Louisiana, yeah. All right, next one. The pig is the last of the 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac and is seen to represent fortune honesty happiness and fertility i'm not the pig You're in the not chinese the pig, no i forgot what i am i, I want to say i'm the dragon i think i'm the horse the horse and the dragon yeah anybody the pig <laughs> hey hey rv and with g welcome welcome, welcome. Hey, in with g and i want to say hello to troy s hey hey Oh, yeah. Hey, Troy S. Hole. There you go. <laughs> Make your teeny. Hello. Hey, Howdy, hey, doody. Howdy doody. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> and the last fun fact. The last one. Pigs have a tremendous sense of smell. The large round disc of cartilage at the tip of the snout is connected to muscles that give it extra flexibility and strength for rooting in the ground huh. oh, interesting, interesting that is really weird <laughs> <laughs> so then I, you know you hear me like, <laughs> you do that pretty good <laughs> see i can do it pretty good <laughs> Woo Woo -hoo. lots of good pig facts anybody else know anything about pigs that wasn't on there i want to share <laughs> I don't You're know. muted, Roy. We can't hear you. I prefer them smoked. <laughs> yeah, I like them. I don't care. I like any kind of way. I don't know that. No, I, no, I was glad when Dad got rid of the pigs. Oh, yeah, we did. And then the butt we had was a pork cut. Uh, we usually do smoke ours. She double said her grandfather raised pigs too, so that's pretty cool. See, why am I not getting alerts that new? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's way up there. Oh, I missed it. Yeah. I am yeah. not getting, you know, usually in the comment, it will show if you got a new message, you know, like a little number or whatever. I yeah. Am not, I am not getting that. Yeah. And then Justin. And here, Christina. my grandfather raised pigs. And then Justin and Christina, people think pigs are dirty, but they're actually very clean. Yeah, I, I, I think I've heard that. Well, I think I knew that. Well, there's some religions that can't eat them. I don't under. I mean, I don't know the reason on it, but it's about the hoof or something. I don't know. Yeah. And I hey, have actually going had... green mom. Welcome. Hey, going green mom. Hey, going green mom. I have actually had pick, pickled pig's feet. 
Have you eaten them? Because I've seen them and I've been told to eat them, but I ain't ate them. I ain't eating them. <laughs> not happening. I actually, believe it or not, I actually love these things. So I bet you do. You like some things that a lot of us don't like. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Kosher. So when, what does kosher mean? What does that mean? I don't know. I'm not real smart on all this stuff. <laughs> I just knew there were some that could not eat it. I can't remember. Uh, I know I in India remember. they can't have cows. I can't remember what uh, one of my other friends is is that type of uh, um, is it is related with that type of religion. I can't remember uh, what type it is, but yeah, because she asked me because uh, when I was visiting with her at her house, she asked me if, if I, if my religion was that way, and I said, no, uh, we don't do that. Yeah. Wow. My dad loved pickled pig's feet, Justin and Christina. And then, oh, real yeah. Robert, I'll just take your word for it. Right, we'll take your word for it. <laughs> I've never read them, but Me I too. Do you ever read them? I, I trust all y'all. I never did either. I think they know, we get made every part of it. They didn't throw none of it out. Yeah, I think we gave ours to the other family member, my uncle, when we took our pigs in. Dad didn't need them. Uh, yeah, they ate all of it. Lisa Lisa Old Testament declares them unclean. Okay. Huh. And then Diane says eating animals with cloven hooves and shellfish. I see, I know something about the them. hooves. I remember yeah. the hooves being the bad thing. That's what I remember from when I was growing up. And uh, G says uh, J Jews and Muslims don't, don't eat pigs. Pig, and then it's the people in India that don't eat cows. I, I, think, I, I think I remember, I think it was Catholic. I think it's Catholics that don't. I could be wrong. But. Catholics don't eat meat on Fridays, but they can have fish. Because every Friday growing up, we had fish sticks in the cafeteria. Every Friday. But I think and that was the one. I think that was what she asked me about. If that was. Uh, yeah, every Friday. Okay. And I got tired of fish sticks on Fridays. <laughs> 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 I'm like, why can't we have a hamburger? Yeah. Said, that's when I learned that that's what it was for. I was like, oh, okay. Right, I'm going to go ahead and put this banner back up once again. Yeah, hey, come on over. Please We're having donuts. Over. We have donuts over here. <laughs> um, if you weren't yep, here, I have, I have Charlie Guard Adventures pinned in my chat, and uh, Roy and Becky has it pinned in there. Yes. yes. We're 128 and, hours away. Come on. Yes. And even Mel and Eddie have it on theirs because we are streaming to them as well. Yeah even though they're not here. But yes, if you weren't here at the beginning, we're 128 hours away. Woo! We're so excited. And we're gonna have a party with some giveaways when we get there, okay? Absolutely. So be on the lookout for that. All right, where are we? Oh, look, meat is no longer for good. Uh, Canadian bacon is something the US made up. Canada calls this back bacon. Back bacon. Huh, I didn't know that. Because it's just ham. You got a message on Facebook Messenger, Earl. I do. I got my phone on silent. Okay. Uh, and then meat is no longer forbidden on Fridays by Catholic Church. Oh, that's funny. I actually got a couple of messages. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm on StreamYard. That's where I'm looking. Yeah. That's the one I'm talking about. But I'm just talking about if I'm in one of the other tabs, like for the banners or whatever, or the overlays, usually my comment pops up with a little alert saying I have a new one. It's not doing that tonight. Yeah, weird. I went over to private chat. And when a new chat comes in, I'm not getting a circle over there with yeah, a yeah. number yeah. of comments. Yeah, I usually get that, and it's not working, so it's weird. Yeah, and we don't even have those two columns. You can only so, have two columns. We don't have that today either. 
Yeah. So I'm going back and forth, <laughs> making sure yeah. I'm trying to keep up with the. Uh, Oh, hey, PSB Odyssey. Hey, Paul. Howdy, howdy. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Paul. From PSB Odyssey. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Hey. <laughs> for sure, for sure. All right, I just look. I had another message there. That's somebody else. That's somebody else. We're meeting tomorrow. Yeah. For lunch. Lunch. Howdy, howdy. So you y'all still at your home base? Uh, yeah. We're still here. Uh, we're going to be here till the beginning of May. Uh, till the beginning of May? Yeah. yeah. We're just trying to get some, a few things taken care of and catching yeah. our breath. We're, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm doing a lot of upkeep. I, I, I finally serviced my generator yesterday. Yeah, he bought all the stuff <laughs> in Quartzsite, but yeah. didn't do it till we got I here. I bought everything in Quartzsite to do it because yeah. I ran... I ran the crap out of that generator quartzite. But, uh, I yeah. imagine it right now. What's that? Ours is running now. Yeah. 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 So See I how I fixed the inverter, you know. Yeah, yeah, now that you fixed it. Yeah. I changed the oil, the air filter, the fuel filter, the spark plugs. I did, yeah, I did the whole the whole servicing on it. Yeah. So, and, then, and then you gotta do the oil change still. I still do the oil change on the on the motor home and I still need to do the uh, air conditioners. Uh I need to clean those and service those and then I do my roof. I'm gonna check my seals and stuff and clean the roof. Hey Jane Bray, welcome. Hey, thanks for coming. Hey, hey. Um it's Ben. Ben to the top of the chat. Yeah, up at the top of the chat and, and each person each uh, different channels uh Chats. It should be up no, there. we didn't do Q24. I wasn't here. None of us did. I wasn't here. We I drove was... by it. I mean, it was right here next to us. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we yeah. saw it, but we didn't go to it. And then G's asking, how are you doing on the batteries? Uh, batteries is doing great. No, how low? How low? Read the question. It's how right low there. are you running the batteries? Uh, let's see. Last night, they were 13. Yeah. About thirteen one, and then I'll turn it on. Um, today we used the microwave, uh, and it clouded up a little bit. We've had wasn't. hazy days. The yeah, last we three didn't days. get. We got good solar today, but not good solar. So, but just in case it ran low during the live uh, live stream, I just went out there and started it. So you wouldn't have to get up and right, start it then. Yeah. Ooh, it's still 91 degrees out. Ooh, Ooh, it's still hot. Ooh. Dang. Yeah, it's still 91 outside. Yeah. yeah well, I finally uh, got it uh, to cool down this house, finally, after after two or three nights of having 80 to 84 degrees in this house. Oh, wow. That's what I was telling that, him. That's with... Uh, that's with more. That's with the uh, ceiling fan going, the living room ceiling fan going, and uh, the kitchen ceiling fan going, and two of these little uh, as seen on TV go fans going. <laughs> I was telling them earlier we were like eighty, I think eighty-eight yesterday. Today we barely got into sixty, and right now we're down to fifty-five degrees. We're supposed to go to fifty tonight. Well, it says it on that unit over the unit itself. Like I said before, I've only got kerosene K1 heat, and the unit itself is sitting on 68. But it also tells you the temperature in the house, and it says it's 74 in here right now. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what cool. we got. That's the only thing we have is that we have a window unit. It's like mm-hmm. a combo. And we set it. It's set at sixty-eight. If it gets too hot, it'll turn the air on. Yeah. If it gets cold, then it'll kick the heat on. So right now, it's not even on. So it must be sixty-eight in here. Well, see, I had I don't have any like air conditioning or anything in this house except for them two ceiling fans. Oh, you need you need to get something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna invest in some more of them uh, box fans uh, and try to yeah go yeah. yeah those will work uh, yeah uh, real Robert I know we 
we're uh, what is it? Sunday night, we're going down to 40 degrees here. Wait, gee, I don't have the Sean. We don't have one. <laughs> hey, Ellsworth Carl, welcome. And Lacey. Hey, Lacey. Hey, hey, Lacey. Carl. Yeah, I don't have a Sean. I'm going off the, the meters. And Jane says, uh, gee, I think Bexy, yeah, Bexy fixed the charging. She, she was did. telling us about it. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, no, no. Technically, I fixed it. I'm the one who pushed the button. I found the button. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't touching nothing in there. I know, right? That way, if it messed up, that was him. Right? I'm with there with you. That uh, the same thing. 81 in Claremont, Florida. Ooh, that sounds Ooh, nice, though. Nice. I like that. Put on the shunt. Okay, that's what you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, wow. Steve over there. 6 p.m. and it's 90 degrees. Ooh. 91 here, yeah. 91, yeah, here. 14 percent humidity. Wow, that's not bad. 14. Well, they said last night we were gonna get rain, but we really didn't get any of it. I think it kind of skirted to the north of us, so we didn't really see it. All right, I guess it's time to. Did you see what I had? Get ready to move on to trivia. Becky's beeping. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get ready. We're going to move on. Let me take that banner down first. And we'll move on to trivia. trivia. Here we go. In what California city is the Jelly Bean Company headquarters? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> well, in Indiana. No, that's uh, uh, Jelly Bean. AC Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. I don't know. I'm trying to think of Ronald Reagan, but it ain't nowhere near Ronald Reagan because he's in. He's near LA. You know, Ronald Reagan loves them really bad. I'm going to go with B, only because I've never, I don't even know where Fairfield is at. I know where everything else is. <laughs> I'm going with A. A. We got, we got, so yep, a. got a Hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm. See, I'm going to catch up on the chat here real quick. G, I found it. Two things up. Uh, we haven't had wood stove for two mornings. Our spring is going. Yeah, Catherine, you're up in Washington, I believe, right? Yeah. Steve saying hi to Lacey. Hey, J and N Travels, hey, welcome. welcome. Hey, J and N Travels, we're doing good. Hey, J N. Lacey, Becky saying. Becky found it. Steve's running his window on solar. Oh, nice. Corona. <laughs> All right, Catherine says B. Real Robert Rockwell says A. a. PSV Odyssey says B. The devil has no clue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mega Van Mike. Hey, hey welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, no, hey, there's Mega Snowflake. Van Mike. Oh, they're in Snowflake, Arizona. Okay. That's right. I remember that now. And I'm not seeing any other answers. Oh, what well, Misha Lee just came in with a C. A C. No and what the panel say? What'd you say? I said A. Roy said A. a. And he said. Kenny said C. C. All right, let's check it out. And I'm saying B. I'm not sure. The answer is B. B. It was oh, B. B. I had no idea. <laughs> Lucky guess. Like I said, that's the only one I didn't. I, I've never heard of that one city. I know where everything else is. <laughs> B. I never have heard of that neither. Okay, in which two Midwestern locations will we find distribution centers for Jelly Belly Company products? What two Midwestern? What is it? Gosh. Two Midwestern locations will we find dis distribution centers? For Jelly Belly Company. I don't even have Indiana listed. 
Not much. It ain't very well available. No, well, ain't not. I am. We have one that does it. I'm gonna say B on that one. Penny <laughs> says B. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I don't. Yeah, Kenny, I'm going to go with you. I'm going to say B. I'm going with D, North Chicago. Yeah, with you, Becky. I'm going to say North, D. The North Chicago, Pleasant Prairie. What's an audience saying? Uh, PSV, she's saying D. D. Real Robert Rockwell says D. <laughs> uh, Chrissy Mama. She put the slash. RVing with G says C. C. Ames, Iowa, and Springfield. Oh, we now, might get to go to Springfield. Yeah, I think we're going to Springfield on the way up north. Diane says C. C. Oh, we got a new hello. Hey, are we there are yet? Are we there yet? I like, oh, that, I like name. that name. That's cool. <laughs> Central oh. Illinois. So do you know the answer? <laughs> you know the answer to this question? <laughs> <laughs> Nisha Lee says A. a. She devil says oh, hit the wrong button there. C. C. Oh, yeah, there she goes. Are you there yet? Says C. C. Oh, I'm going to go with her. I know. And she's, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mystic Bunny. Welcome. Hey, and she said C. She says C. All right. Let's reveal. Drum the answer roll. is D. Oh, okay. right. Wow. right. Me and Becky got that right. <laughs> My daughter was there in Girl Scouts. Oh. The one North, North Chicago. And it's like right on the border of both of them. Ah. That is so cool. Haribo. Haribo. Pleasant Prairie, oh. Wisconsin. Oh, I want to go there because I love gummy bears. Oh. <laughs> we're going through Wisconsin, we are aren't we? With G saying hi, bunny. I think we're skipping Wisconsin. And, oh, yeah. Megan, Mega Van, Mike says. He's been there. there. I've been what? there. My what? daughter got to go. Autumn. I thought it was Albany's. Albany's is in um, Merrillville, Sherrillville area. You can go do a tour of that candy factory. Huh. <clears throat> and they do jelly bellies there. Yeah. yeah. I love jelly bellies. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I'm, I can't answer this. I already I... know this answer. <laughs> what U.S. president is most known for indulging in jelly belly beans? I can't answer it. Y'all have to give your answers in chat. I'm going to say A on that one. <laughs> I'm going to say A. Hey. Well, if you were listening a while ago, she gave I the gave answer. the answer away. <laughs> Plus, it's my favorite president. <laughs> oh, he said that place is huge. Oh, I'd love to go see it. Tours there. Yeah. Good one, Becky. Yeah. All right. Looks like we're getting A. A. <laughs> A. 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 Is Ivan in here? A. <laughs> yeah, where, I haven't seen or heard from Ivan lately. He's we haven't been, either. He's up in Canada, I suppose. Yeah. Thank you. Uh oh, this person said uh -oh. C. No, he's peanuts. RVing with G says C. That's peanuts. <laughs> he's a peanut freak. <laughs> and Steve says A. Yeah, buddy. And Aria there yet says C. C. That's peanuts. Carter's peanuts. Oh. All right, I'm going to go ahead. The answer is A. A. We know that. Ronald yeah. Reagan. Only because we just went to the Ronald Reagan. No, because I knew that about him too, though. <laughs> well, yeah, we read him. You can it. buy a decanter at the at the library that says Ronald Reagan on it, full of jelly bellies. <laughs> yeah. They were on yeah. his airplane and everything. Yeah, every meeting room he was in always had a cars of jelly. Hey, there's bellies. Mystic Bunny. She's been in there. Oh, howdy, howdy. Roy was playing with her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any gummy bears that have an A on the tummy are, are out. Albany's? Yeah, that's the, that's the big uh, candy factory, candy by, factory back, by, home. back by us. Oh, oh wow. I you can take tours of it, too. That's a lot of jelly. Jelly Belly comes out of there, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> we need G, to make our way G to some of these. His answer. Hey, yeah. okay, okay, hey. <laughs> okay, is it, is, it, uh, is it only certain times of year you can get those, or can you get them year-round? What? No, you get jelly belly year round. Yeah, year yeah. round. Yeah. Now I think it's a certain time of year you can only get the humongous ones. Yeah, I think they only do those a certain time. Of year. Yeah, the jelly beans. You only can seem to find those mostly around the Easter. The time. Brock's jelly bean, but yeah. the jelly belly, especially like at Costco or Sam's, they sell them there year round. Yeah. 
got home late last night. Oh, wow. Well, glad you came in. I've been LOL. <laughs> you are right. Jimmy was the, the peanut, peanut freak. freak. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, Jimmy Carter. Yep. Yeah. Someday we'll get down to his library. <laughs> we went by Clinton, but I couldn't convince somebody to go there. <laughs> And going green mom saying hi to Jane. Oh, uh, washing your the dishes. Link. Thanks awesome. for doing that. Yeah. Mystic Bunny people hey. saying hi. Desert. Okay. A get, get to share, share the, the prize, prize money. money. We got donuts over here. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> oh, Y'all awesome. making me hungry now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Started a new job this week or training for a new job. That's so cool. Awesome. What kind of job? We're curious. Right. Oh, here you go. Someone's answering your question now. Kosher means, means they are slaughtered a special way. Oh, and they yeah. have to chew their cud and have a split hoof. Pigs do not chew their cud. Huh. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of learning I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you for that. Awesome. All right. All what right, is next? Next quish, question. It's all about jelly beans. What two jelly bellies. Yeah. What two colors also common as condiments on hot dogs and hamburgers can be found on the Jelly Belly Company's Mr. Jelly Belly mos mascot. Well, I'm thinking it's it's gotta be it's red, gotta and be yellow. A, yeah, red and yellow. Yeah, because it said a, red and yellow. Common as condiments on hot dogs because, and hamburgers. Uh, right? Because that uh, red for ketchup and yellow for mustard. I mean, and that's, I think that's, that's what's that's, right. I think you're that's right. What, that's what I'm thinking. Those two are the uh, those two are condiments for yeah. What else do you put on here? Hamburgers, not dogs. Now some people put mayonnaise, but that'd be white. But yes. I've, never, I've never seen a white mayonnaise. I mean a white uh, jelly belly though. Yeah. Oh, uh, going green. Mom saying the link's not in your chat, Roy and Becky. All right, uh, G says A, another A, C, <laughs> A, uh-oh, now, hey, Kenny, you're really going to get uh, hungry bacon now. Bacon chocolate chip cookies. Aria, there's it. It's bacon chocolate chip. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's so so yeah. It's so much. It's so much. A. <laughs> A, we're back to the A's. Hey, we need Ivan here. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, hey. lettuce is green. She says lettuce yeah. is green. Is that, <laughs> that a condiment? Is so is relish. I put relish on my hot dog. Yeah, relish on hot dogs. But <laughs> I don't put ketchup. Well, I don't like ketchup on either one. I don't so. put less on hot dogs usually either. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Steve feels much smarter since See? he started watching. I'm this. telling you what. Hey, we're always learning here. It's called school. Well, she's sending you sending some virtual, virtual cookies. Virtual cookies to you, Kenny. I want some more. We were at our friend's house in Paris for the eclipse. Ooh. They had those. What they Cow called? chip cookies. Cow, cow chip. Oh, oh, those are good. I need her recipe. I think they were like oatmeal cookies. I just said cookies. Yeah, they were so good. Ooh. And I don't know where your link went, but it was pinned in our chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's one of those nights tonight, I'm telling you. Oh, we got another answer. Just another A came in. Another A. Let's see what it is. And the answer is. Like it's got to be A. A. Yeah, A. Red and yellow. Yeah. Oh. Hammer, yeah. All right. Next question. Okay. Which of the following citrus fruits, which is commonly used with iced tea, uh oh, <laughs> was among the first flavors issued by the Jelly Belly Company back in 1976? Well, these it's questions, gotta, it's gotta be B lemon. Yeah, the, yeah, these questions are giving us I know that clue is giving us a clue giving us, there. Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, I mean, uh, citrus fruit, lemon, and that's usually what's in tea. So, yeah, I'm going to be. I've, ne I've never heard of anybody putting uh, lime or orange no. or grapefruit in their tea before. No. Be All right, we got a B, a B, a B, another B. Oh, we got a C. Uh oh. 
or orange. Yeah, maybe. Gotta uh. be, 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 and a B and going green mom saying hello to Paul. Yeah, yeah. All right. What do you think it is? Let's see. But Roy and Becky, you think it's what did you say? Did you say something? Bean. Uh B, right? Yeah. Yeah. We just uh, want that's what I'm saying. The question like gave the clue. Gave right? away, right there. Yeah, yeah lemon. Lemon. Yeah. lemon. I wish these kind of questions was on a test. I'd have passed. <laughs> the Jelly Belly Company has 43 flavors offered on a year-round basis. Which of the following soda pop flavors is one of these regular flavors? I want to say B. I want to say D. I'm gonna say D. D. Oh, it's. I'm, I'm saying D. I'm saying D. <laughs> I'm with you, Roy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say D. With Becky, what are you saying? Thank you that much. Uh, the Joey Bell is. I'm gonna say. Ah. Uh, I'm going to say uh, D, Cherry Coke. Cherry Coke? Yeah, that's where I'm at. All right. I'm going to say the cream soda. I don't know. I don't eat Jelly Bellies a lot. Let's yeah. see. We've got a B. Then we got another B. B. PSB Odyssey says A, Mountain Dew. Do. If it was B. a southern company, I'd go with that. <laughs> B. D. RB and G with G says like a good D. Like a good D, yeah. <laughs> D. Uh oh, what's the uh, E. Michelle he says E. E. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. E. Uh, oh yeah, going green mom says I'm still catching up. If you want to see a tour of the Jelly Belly factory, Pedrosa Travels, Travels has one. one. Oh, oh we'll have to check that out. That'll be fun. Yeah. Oh, Misha Lee changed hers to Oopsie. D. <laughs> oh, there's a buttered popcorn flavor. Oh, oh I've had that. Um, that being dazzled. Mm. Yeah. Now right. you can get all those weird flavors in that Bean Boozled game. You get yeah. them nasty flavors too. Yeah. Oh, Harry, Potter Potter thing. Thing. Uh, Harry Potter thing has all them nasty, really like boogers and all that. Yeah. All right, and the answer is B. B. You Pretty got it right. Soda. Interesting. Yeah, that's very good. I have no idea. I didn't either. B. I'm trying. <laughs> I, I agree. Never. Okay. E. Steve oh, says E. All, all the above. above. <laughs> I love it. And I agree. Too fun. All, all right. right. Next question. Which of the regular flavors? Which one of the regular flavors, which is also a commonly offered confection at amusement parks and fairs, and which kids love, is offered by Jelly Belly Company? Oh, that was really hard to read. <laughs> I'm going to say A. A. I'm going to say A on that one. I did say A. You was A. Oh. <laughs> you know, like, sounds like A. is A. And looking. Hey, hey Brett Worship Channel. Howdy, howdy. Did I miss him? Oh, yeah. Very they sound. just popped in here. Yeah, right, Mystic well, Money well. said has the cream soda ones. Okay. You got an A. 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 And hey, yep, hey, there's hey. Brett Worship Channel. Welcome. Thanks for coming Welcome. in. Got another A. A. It looks like the majority is A. Oh, like this one. <laughs> Hey, no, Bama Rush, I, I, deep fried Twinkie. Hello, well, yeah, Bama Rush, welcome. Yeah, I love a deep fried Twinkie. We mix cream, cream soda, soda and, and buttered butter popcorn. popcorn. We call it the movie <laughs> theater blend. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I would eat that. Oh, yeah. And a. All right. Uh oh, here's another one. E. Uh, <laughs> Eada. Eada. All right. I think okay. the majority was, the was a. And yeah, hey, cotton candy, hey, cotton candy. All I think right, it go. tastes good though. Oh no, what? Which of the following mixed drinks is a jelly belly flavor? 
I'm going to go on B. I had to say B. I'm going to say B. Head. I think I've seen this one, heard this one before. Yeah, I'm going to say B. Yeah, I think it's B. I think they're white. I think they're, yeah, yeah white. They're white. Yeah. They need to come up with a rum and coke. Yeah. <laughs> Whiskey and coke. Now that one would be interesting. Yeah. yeah. All right. Looks like we're getting a lot of bees. B. Oh, Jane says A, hey, Rum hey. and Coke. <laughs> B. Rupert Holmes. And Diane says B. Kenny, did you pick one? I said B. Okay. Yeah. That makes the most sense. Yeah, I think I've heard it before. Like I said, I wish they'd come up with a rum or even a whiskey. Yeah. Pina colada. That's the one that tastes like coconut, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's the only one on there I wouldn't drink. Because <laughs> I don't like coconut. All right. The Jelly Bean Company also offers experimental flavors, otherwise known as rookie flavors, that have the potential to become a part of the regular rotation. Which flavor commonly found in a Thanksgiving meal didn't make the long-term cut. I, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say A. Uh, which one didn't make it? Yeah, which one didn't? C. I'm going to say D. Didn't say, make it C. Well, I'm going to say A. Is it a green, a jelly belly? What about gravy? Gravy. They'd have to have mashed potatoes in. I mean, you give me a jelly belly that tastes like biscuits and gravy, I'd be in seventh heaven. I know, right? I'd be all like, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> 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 I love biscuits and gravy. In other words, oh, thank you so uh, much, Going Green Mom. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank in you. In other words, it'll make your tongue sound right. Pin that link <laughs> Oh, wait, she wasn't in ours. If you like pina coladas, I don't. I don't yeah. like pina coladas. I don't like coconut. I love coconut. So. People saying hello, hello. All right, here we got some answers. Okay, C. We got a, C. <coughs> we got a D. Thanks, Lord Green Mom. We pinned it. Yes. You have it. I, I saw did. it. I did. Going. Catherine Cook says C. Got an A. That's what I said. A. A D. C. Oh look! Look at that one. Yeah, I don't think deviled eggs made it either. I don't either. Hey, I did have a deviled egg today. It was pretty good. Oh, that must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know when our dinner. What we had for dinner. What we had for dinner. We had Luffer. Yeah, we had Luffer or Flinner or whatever you want to call it. Love butter popcorn flavor. I don't want to try that one, but that sounds good. Yeah, that's one you would like. I would love it. I love popcorn. All right. Let's see what the answer is. And the answer is. Oh, I got it right. Hey. It right. Okay, I'm boycotting right. Jelly Belly now. You don't even need them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one I thought. Yeah, I can't say I'm But it sounds like I'm going to try. I knew that pumpkin pie was mostly a uh, thing. It's usually mostly served on Thanksgiving meals. Right. Hey, wait yeah. a minute. We we just had two. We just ate two pumpkin pies. Yeah, I made them from the first time. Not score right. either. <laughs> oh wow! Wow. All right, and the last trivia question. The last one. There are also sugar-free flavors offered by Jelly Belly. Which commonly use spice? Which commonly use spice is one of them? Nutmeg, ginger, allspice. I haven't heard of allspice. I'm going to say D. 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 Yeah, cinnamon spice. D. I would go with D also. Cinnamon. I'm going with uh, C. What's allspice anyway? What I use (laughs) use for pumpkin pie. Or you get the pumpkin pie spice and it's all together. 
Uh, Steve wins the million bucks. Hey, hey. hey Bama Rush, you're supposed to wait. That's for what's what I had for dinner. Hey, don't <laughs> All right, we got a D, 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 D. A lot of D's. And a D. Looks like D is the only one. Everybody's failing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what thing. I'm going to say D because that, that, that's, that, that's, that's the only thing. one that I've ever heard. I've never heard of a nutmeg or ginger all, or allspice uh, jelly belly. Yeah, not that you yeah. could eat those. Yeah, not that you would eat. Yeah, you wouldn't eat those, I wouldn't think. Wait, time out. How have you not heard of gingerbread cookies? I've heard of gingerbread cookies, and I've heard of nutmeg, but I've never heard of It just doesn't seem like something that would be in a jelly belly. Yeah, not for a jelly belly. Yeah, I, I don't think it'd be... Uh... Oh, I thought Kenneth said he hasn't heard of nutmeg or ginger. Oh. Well, I'm talking about like it, I'm talking about I'm talking about like in a jelly belly though. Oh, like, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, it went over my head, Kenneth. Yeah. <laughs> all spice. I don't know. Yeah. All spice is one I've never heard of. Yeah, it's you mix it. It's for certain cooking. Oh. Yeah, ginger spice. I've ginger never snaps, heard of it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the answer is. And the answer for the last one is. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. See, that made the most sense. That's right. Uh, I actually, I actually hear just uh, a while back. I just bought my dad straight cinnamon uh, jelly beans. Is all oh, about. there you go. Uh, so you knew the answer already. <laughs> I, I, they were the they were the bigger ones though. They weren't the norm. They weren't the normal size jelly. Like the jelly beans. beans. Instead of jelly belt, they were the they were the big ones. They were the big size jelly beans. Oh wow! I don't see your cat tonight, Kenny. <laughs> my pants now fit right here. <laughs> You're right there. No, no, Look no, out! No, no, no. Yeah. There you go. There. Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's my outfit for uh, six. church tomorrow. So. Six. There you go. go. You're ready to go. I got well, church tomorrow at uh, six o'clock. Oh wow! Ooh, early, early. All spices and nut which you ground. To not, you. not in the morning. Six o'clock tomorrow night. Oh, oh tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Okay. We got to get up early. We're going to meet some friends for lunch, but they're down. We're meeting them down there, Chattanooga. Chattanooga. That's probably about a. I don't know, hour and a half, two hour drive. But it's in a different time zone. Yeah, they're in Eastern time zone and we're in West or Central, Central time zone. So we got to count all that when we go. I bet they I have got a couple races tomorrow to watch. Arca race, Infinity race, at Talladega. Talladega, <laughs> yeah. Day, I heard day. Talladega, yeah. I bet they have a ginger beer in Hogwarts collection. I bet they do. They have some gross ones, though, in there. My daughter, though, just had um, butter beer, and they said it was really good. They went to Universal, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, and they had butter beer. Both of my, right. And she had a frozen one. My granddaughter did. My daughter had just regular butter beer, and it was really good. I, yeah. I hope not, Mystic Bunny. They do have vomit. <laughs> yeah, they do have vomit. Do place. they have Yes. It? Really? In the Hogwarts collection, yeah. Oh, no, that's it's okay. Gross. No, thank you. They're really gross flavors. They, <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah, yeah you no, had it. Tiana got it. Okay, yeah. what was the one you got? It's called Demon and Baby White. Yeah. Ugh. Our daughter thought she'd punk me. She woke me up and gave me one of those be boom dazzle, bean dazzle things. And if anybody ever offers you one of them, don't, girls, do don't take it. Oh no! I wasn't yeah, fully white, was and the first one I got was thing. baby wipes. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, game. a jelly bean. A jelly bean that tastes like baby wipes, yeah. and then one that tastes like dog food. Yeah. And poor dogs, we feed them like stuff. It's a dare game you play. My boy, Awesome Bill from Dawsonville, owned the Talladega back in the day. Nice. And this all boy won last week. No. Uh, and allspice supposedly tastes like allspice. Fresh smoked grass. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, they, they got one that tastes like uh, spoiled <laughs> milk. Yeah, spoiled yeah. milk. They're really gross. And there's one that tastes like. Uh, rotten egg, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. There's Tiana, a lot of egg warmers. Tiana got that one too. Yeah. They're trying to get me, but after watching their faces, I, you, you ain't no way. <laughs> I wanted to wait for the first one, okay? It was baby wipes. Okay, I can dig that. That didn't kill me, but that dark food one didn't take me long to spit that one out after about right. one bite. <laughs> Now, had they gave me one of them nasty things and not told me ahead of time, yeah, I can't guarantee any of them be living today. <laughs> right? It's like a game you can play, like a there challenge. There you go, Roy. Mama Rush is asking you still doing Civil War reenactment. We haven't done any since we left Indiana. We got all our gear with us, so I mean, technically we are, but we're not. <laughs> we could go down. I'm about Tucson. ready to put the gear on and run around out here. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, not oh, now. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh, grandson got me with the booger one. I know it's like booger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she got the vomit and the booger one. Yeah, uh, yeah does not taste anything it's like cheese. Fresh, fresh cut glass, grass. grass. <laughs> yeah, I can see that too. Uh, the dirty, dirty socks. <laughs> no. Yeah, one called stinky socks. I think it is. And yeah, that must be the dirty sock one there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Bill is the reason they have restrictor plates at Talladega. Oh, wow. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they're not running them anymore. Here's what and you do. You get a little jar of jelly beans, those nasty ones, and leave them out on the table. You know, like you have company over. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Just have them there. <laughs> and set up a little hidden camera so you can record their reaction. <laughs> and a five-gallon bucket next to the seat just in case. I know you better have something for the puke in, too. <laughs> The spoiled milk mean it tastes like cheese? I, I actually I actually played that game at one of the meetups and, yeah. and I actually was able to uh, I was actually able to uh, uh, to uh, um, beat it actually because uh, the ones that I had that, that didn't taste that bad to me but Mm. All licorice beans. No, I don't like licorice. I like red licorice. Well, only like licorice. only like the red vines. Red vine, yeah, that's what I like. Red vines. The red vines, yep. All right, we're all caught up. I think we're gonna move on to what's up with that. Uh, don't forget, everybody in the in the comment. You get to play too. We, yeah, so come get, up with the what's up with that. You'll have to come up with a what's up with that too. And normally, I guess they, you know, Mel and Nettie put their faces up. We can't put them up because we don't have them here. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll do this anyway. <laughs> We'll go ahead and go first because Terry has ours. Yeah, I have ours. Yeah. All right, so we're in this cabin, y'all. And the one great thing that I love when we're here is we have a little doggy door. And the dogs just go in and out all the time. And we don't have to get up, let them out. I just love it, right? Well, today, they don't forget how to use the deck on door. They can't figure out how to get out of it. They can't figure out how to get back in it. I don't know. They got amnesia, <laughs> dementia. I don't know. It's driving us nuts all day today. Oh, yeah, I don't know why. We've been here since Thursday, and every other day, they go in and out in and on their out. own. It's on their own. It's been so and nice. Something happened today. They won't go. <laughs> they won't go. They so stare I, at it. I forced them out. The one bear found his way back in, but the other one, Itty Bitty, stood out there for 20 minutes yeah. and would not come in. You can figure it out. What's up with this? Like, what <laughs> in the world? He has some dog amnesia? <laughs> don't even know. What the heck? Yeah, they are getting old, but they are old. I know, right? But dang, I don't know. Yeah. So who's next? That's our what's up with that. Let's go ahead, Kenny. Go. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. me when the automated uh, system uh, picks up, and I really just want to talk to a human. See that? 
It was kind of a glare. Was it like a sheep or? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Hang on. I'm trying to see if I can lower, lower the brightness on this a little bit. See if that'll work. Can you see that now? Oh, oh okay. yeah, oh, cat. A cat. Yeah. <laughs> when, you know how a lot of times when you uh, when you're wanting to talk to an actual uh, real person on the phone, especially in a personal business or something like that, and you, yeah, and all you get is uh, an automated machine. What's up with that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I can't stand it. And half the time. The, the automated machine can't understand what a word you're even saying to they it. They don't know what you're saying. <laughs> and they're like, push this button, but this ain't what I want, that button. Yeah. I know it. I cannot stand <laughs> yeah. when you can't get to a real person. Yeah, I'm like, give me a real person. Give me a real live human being. Right? <laughs> <That's my person>. <laughs> <laughs> I got some comments coming yeah. about our door. I don't know. Well, I'm just saying here, yes, Bama Rush, we are too. We're very excited. Man, I'm I'm them too. Yeah. Yeah. And if anybody hasn't seen Mel or Nettie's last video last Friday, go check it out. Go check it out. Yeah. Um, you don't, yeah. They take the clue there. Oh, Be sure you have your butter flavored jelly beans. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Is there a spider or something on the door? I don't think so. What door? Our door, the dog door. A doggy door. Dog, dog door. <laughs> I thought she saw something on the video. I'm like, can't see our door. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think there's nothing on there. I don't know why they won't go. That's crazy. Did the black man the booty. I know, right? I don't know. I gave him a bath yesterday. Maybe the bath him up. Yeah, they did both get bath today. Maybe they're maybe they're rebelling because you gave them. Because I gave him a bath, you know. But I like giving a bath here because I have a really good deep sink. I like it. Hey, Kenny, little man says hi. Aww. Hello, little man. Uh, hey, Space Man Dudley, Dudley. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. He's having fun on a Friday night. He's saying hi. <laughs> or did they jump through and land on each other? I know, other? right? No, I know. no. A bear don't go out very much. Even Kenny Benny goes out all day. He'll normally. go out about five times an hour. And he's the one that can't figure out how to get in and out today. Yeah. I'm doing good, Space Man Dudley. Hey, hey. Roy, you're as pretty, pretty as, as ever. ever. Aww. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'll take that. Hey, Becky. Hope you're doing well and behaving. I don't know about the behaving part. No, never. I never behave. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right. Hey, Megan, on the other side. All right. Let's go. Here we go. What are we doing? What's up with that? There oh. you go. There you go. That's what's up with that. <laughs> what's up with that? <laughs> um. Well, the other day I was at Family Dollar, sitting in the car. I think I was waiting on you. No. You. I don't think so. But anyhow, no, I got no, Family no. Dollar. I went in Family Dollar, then I came out. Yeah. We got in the car. This guy on this electric bike pulls up. <laughs> they have these poles in front of the parking spaces that just go straight up. They don't curve. They don't come back to the ground. Nothing. Just a pole. Straight up. This guy got out and chained his e-bike to it. <laughs> After he pulled his handlebars down. And uh, then he went in the store. Anybody could have walked by and just raised the bike up over the pipe and, and took it. It was a nice expensive e-bike, too. But anybody could have raised it right off of that, that pipe and took off with it. He thought he was walking back. He did it. He walked up with, or walked away. And I immediately said, what's up with that? I wasn't right. even. <laughs> you posted a picture of that. Yeah, we saw a picture Yeah, I put a picture of it on my Facebook. That was funny. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, well, I, I can't believe I'm watching this actually happen in front of me. Stupidity. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even run it through the wheel. It, yeah, well, the cable that's through that bar, it goes through the frame. It's not even through the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Too funny. All right, I'm just looking in. I don't see. Oh, hang on. Here one that might have popped up. We'll do this. We got to do the winner of this first before we do the winner of that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we got to pick one. 
I tied my dogs out in the, our campsite to hang out with me, and they both promptly rolled in. Oh! Jasper never did that. No. Got to roll their head into it, and then it goes down the rest of their body, and you're like... Moose, Lulu, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. They go through spells. Lulu ain't done it in quite a long time, but Moose, he will. <laughs> When rep calls me on the phone, but then asks, ma'am, what is your phone number? <laughs> Wait, did you just call me? Okay, look, 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 look. My friend, you know, we were staying at her house, all right? And she gets these calls, these spam calls, right? Let me just tell you what she done did. So she answers it, and she's like, she, she's expecting these quilt people to call. She says, this is such and such quilt company. And it's a guy from India, right? And she goes, and she goes, oh, hey, do you know how to get blood out of the carpet? <laughs> That guy hung up on her. <laughs> All right, while we wait for some more, I'm going to go ahead and play the winner of tonight on the panel. Stupidity knows no bounds. Right. <laughs> All right. It's your turn in chat. Right. So we have one so far, two, two so we had far. Two so far. Oh, um, it, we've got a uh, Pomeranian. Pomeranians. There's, they're back here. Itty one bitty. Of, itty bitty bear. and bear. Right there. <laughs> they're they're old. They're four, 14. fourteen. Yeah. They're two of the three puppies we had. We used to have the mom and dad too. Yeah. Brown necks, the both of them. Right. This might work. Yeah, there, yeah it there it was. There's that picture. That's that picture he put up on Facebook. You just pick it up over that. And you got and, you a new bike. And, and it's not like the pole's very high. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> what a waste. And I thought, you know, why even fold the handlebars down? <laughs> I know, right? What a, I don't know. Uh, Lulu wants her mushroom. <laughs> Dad, did we ever tell you that the story on that? No. No. Whenever you're out boondocking and you come across cow patties and they got them itty bitty tiny little white mushrooms on them, don't let your dog eat those. No, those will make you hit Lulu in the head. They, 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 they make you take a trip. You never leave the farm. Right? Lulu <laughs> did it. Right. Lulu seeks those mushrooms out. She likes them. We would just go to farms and pick those up, and they put them in uh, spaghetti. spaghetti. And yeah, that wasn't no good. I don't do good on stuff like that. <laughs> LOL. I hear one more call for political survey. I know. Just ask them if they know how to get the blood out of the carpet. Just ask them. That was hilarious. And she was really calm about it. Too. What? Thank you, Spaceman Dudley. Yeah, there are babies. Yeah. Hey, Ron Darrow. Welcome. Hey, welcome. 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 Hey, welcome. howdy, howdy, Ron. Hey, whoa. Boardman is in the house trying to show some. Oh, okay. That's his yeah. other channel. His other channel. <laughs> Saying hi to Ron. Thanks, everyone, for uh, your donations. That's Stream Elements. Howdy, Stream Elements. Oh. Hey, Stream Elements. Welcome. <laughs> <Hi. Hi>. Stream <laughs> Elements. On my side. <laughs> I'm Green. just going through these real quick. Let's see if there's anybody. Going green so we only mom, got the long two. time no see. Yeah. Saying hello to Ryan and going green mom saying hello to Kenny. Okay, we're, we're sorry, we're looking for the winner. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me get rid of the other one first. All right, the winner for the chat. Up with that. <laughs>
Aria. I know the feeling. Our dogs have done it. Not these two. <laughs> Not these two, but yeah. We used to have five dogs. Yeah. Uh, can you imagine if yours did now with all that long hair? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'd kill them. <laughs> Jeannie, did you find any headsets? No. Uh, well, thankfully, that storm didn't last very long. So. Oh, yeah. I remember you saw that. Yeah, I. Uh, it didn't last. Uh, it didn't last very long uh, around here, uh, but which I'm thankful. But uh, there's been some crazy storms rolling through the past yeah. couple of days. I watched well, this. I, one, I, I watched this one channel. It's a, it's called Max Velocity, and it's a guy that does all. He always does the weather and stuff from his house, and he's got all the crazy stuff set up. And every time there's big storms going on, he goes live. He did like an eight-hour live one day tracking storms. <laughs> and like last night, he was doing it up near, uh, oh gosh, up toward Illinois and Iowa. There was like eight tornado warnings last night at one time. So it was like craziness. All right. Maria, Jane. Ron's asking how you're feeling. Oh, she's saying feel better. She said that, yeah. So good. What's a jumbo shrimp? Wait, what? A shrimp that's big. Right. Big shrimp. <laughs> shrimp bowl. <laughs> yeah, and why do you park in a driveway? Way and drive in a park. Well, he used to say that to me all the time. <laughs> that was like one of his jokes. Yeah, I don't know. What is up with that? It's up with that. Watch Ryan. Good evening. Oh, hello, Hawkins Family Adventures. Hey, welcome. welcome. Hey, Hawkins Family Adventures. Welcome, welcome. And I was at the town mechanic all day figuring out our car issues with RV plugs and trying to get trailer electrical figured out. Oh, fun. I hope you got it figured. Oh, yeah. It's always fun. Yeah. Howdy, Hawkins Family Adventures. All right, I'm going to throw this banner back up there again. And come over to our channel. We're having donuts. They're going to run out soon. Yeah. Everybody's going to eat them all. <laughs> I'll be over in a minute. Getting close. Getting close. <laughs> We're getting close on our hours. We are. 128 hours. As of last Sunday. Sunday. That's, so that's not counting Monday or tonight or anybody that's running our channel for this us. This week, yes. How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. We're doing great. We're doing yeah. great. We're taking some... Where if we finally made it back to our home base, here we're in resting a bit, get some you know maintenance done and chores done. Yeah, yeah. they get our taxes done still. We filed an extension. <laughs> we had an extension. I didn't know it was cheap to do that. It only cost fifty dollars to file an extension. I was like, okay, I can handle that. And that goes toward our filing our taxes. <laughs> yeah, it goes toward filing our taxes. But I um I got to clean out the RV. You know how you got like junk that you ain't used all year. I'm gonna get rid of some of that junk we ain't used yeah. and organ reorganize. Going Green Mom, I agree, but this guy, I, I don't know. I don't know why he doesn't work for like a TV station or something. He's like so animated. I, mean, he just, I heard him listen. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> this guy's crazy. He, he has all the radars and yeah, all the different he gets all excited. maps up and all that. <laughs> He's uh, better than any news guy I've ever watched. If Ella Fitzgerald married Darth Vader, would her name have been Ella Elevator? Vader? <laughs> <laughs> I like that Elevator. <laughs> that is so oh, good. Oh, yeah. She needs G. G. Needs, he's still in here. G I'm not is sure. here. I don't know. Uh oh. Did you go to the eye doctor, Ron Daryl? Oh, now I hate getting my eyes dilated. I can't stand it when my eyes are dilated. And you get out in the sun. Oh, it burns so bad. Ugh, awful. Yay. Yay. Kenny, glad. How is Paw Paw? How is Paw Paw doing? Well, he's uh, hanging in there. Uh, we're still trying to still trying to come to a conclusion as to why he keeps having reoccurring uh, UTI infections. Oh. Uh, for some odd reason, uh, for some odd reason, when he uh, Urinates. He's been urinating all different colors of 
Um, so they did a they did an ultrasound on his bladder, on his urinary bladder, and um, um, it, they say it came out clear, but today he was telling me that when uh, when he went to the bathroom, he was uh, his pee was. Uh, uh, green and white. I don't know. Why. That ain't no good at all. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they, they've been trying uh, to figure that out for a while, haven't they? It, well, when it first started, when it first started, he it was like solid, solid white. The nurse. The nurse literally thought he was ejaculating. Oh wow! <laughs> and and, uh, and it, it, it looked like he was. Uh, it looked like he was urinating straight milk. Dang! Wow! Yeah. And uh, and uh, they they don't know they don't know why I don't know why. It, uh, and they got him on some strong antibiotics, but that doesn't seem to really uh, be helping much. I, I'm not not really sure what's going on. But wow, I hope they find that, they figure find that out, out yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah. And Spaceman Dudley's asking Roy, y'all in Arizona. Yep. Yep. Still report site. Side. And I see RV Ashes in April. Hey, welcome. welcome, welcome. Glad hey, Roger have... and Jeff. Jane was asking Ron Daryl what's going on. He's going to have cataract surgery. Oh, wow. Uh, um, a lot of them don't want to work with stations because they have so many rules. Yeah, maybe. That could be. I don't know why. I just started following him last week or two. And he goes on a lot and during he's the good. big storms. Yeah, yeah he's really my good. Kid, he's good. Yeah. Saying hello, Ron. You're going, Ron Daryl. You're going to be a six million dollar man soon. <laughs> and good evening. Oh yeah, yeah. That is not, not good. good. I agree. They need to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Yes. He got married. Going green mom just got married. Is he having too much, you know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, not the neither one of them are interested in that in that way. Uh matter of fact, uh he's actually had a vasectomy, so he he, he wouldn't be able to he wouldn't be able to do anything except shoot points. Uh, so <clears throat> Pamela Rush is asking, do you like cranberry juice? Yeah, cranberry juice is usually really good. Uh, yeah, I do believe he likes cranberry juice, but uh, that I don't know what the see. And he's also his protein. Uh, has, for some reason his system has quit producing. Uh, has quit producing protein. So they have to give him some sort of um, protein supplement that he says tastes terrible. Uh, and so, yeah. Yeah. Mm, crazy. We had a mobile tech that hooked up the blue ox to the front of my Jeep. Come back this afternoon, fix the wiring for some reason. Felt like working out. Now they are oh. awesome. Whew. I know that's rough stuff when you can't get it all to work right. Yeah. People saying hello, hello. Brian saying hello. Glad they got that fixed, Aria. Yeah. Hello. Someone's asking, what is Blue Ox? Isn't it like the, the thing you can hook up to run the lights and run stuff. Run the lights, yeah. yeah. It could be the hitch. The hitch is yeah. What's my box? I can't move all my boxes. Called. I got a box that I can plug in and it'll run all the lights on the trailer. Yeah. Oh, somebody tells what it is down here. 
the toe uh, system. Toe system, yeah. High level of alkaline is probably Papa's problem. Yeah. Huh. Well, that putting too much protein you in it. I don't know. Uh, see, his, uh, his potassium, his sodium levels, his, all his electrolytes, they've been going up and down like a yo yo. But for one day, they could be in real good. And then, like, within the next day, they're like sky high, like uh, way out of range. And wow. I, I don't even. You know, it's, it's, and yeah. sometimes I, I think, sometimes I feel like they got people in that, in that uh, facility that doesn't even know what they're even doing. So, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I, I believe that. Yeah. And, uh, and, and especially when you get, uh, when you get these out of state, uh, agency people coming uh, and working, right? I mean, and, and and the doctor can actually put in an order, put in an order on how uh, certain things are supposed to be in the computer, and they'll a lot of them will say they can't find they can't find it because it's not in the computer and it's right there in the line. All right, Ron Daryl, take care. Glad you came in. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. eat some good. Eat some good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here we got Mr. Fulton Mraz. Hope I said that right. Hello, hello, welcome. Track Tuesday, I was tracking my speed for track practice, and I ran into. Oh no! Ooh, not good. That's not at a good all. thing. Yeah. Check the boron levels. Yeah. Why on levels that affects how your body deals with electrolytes and why? Okay. Oh, well. yeah. I don't know. I mean, and and I, I never can. I, I never can catch when the doctor or nurse is even there because he, man, he gets, <laughs> he gets different ones each time. So, and, and, so I never can catch hardly anybody. So yeah, I just have to basically take my dad's word as it goes. <laughs> Christine, we're gonna have to take you back to school. Right. <laughs> hey, good night, Spaceman Dudley. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. And Jane, all right, I'm gonna try. It's that time. It's that time. It's that time. We got to move on. Yeah. I can't believe how fast the time's going. I know, right? But here we go. Ah! Here we go. y'all how you doing we got the southern word of the day today and our word today is yank yank y'all talk different than me right you ain't done that yet <laughs> all right y'all probably say oh it kind of rushed off you probably say you have not that's probably how y'all talk right you have not done that no we say you ain't, you ain't done that yet yank <laughs> now you have to use yank in a sentence okay <laughs> We got to come up with a southern word of the day. Yes, you do need a southern word of the day. And we'll pick a winner from chat. Hey, Shane R. Rock, Raza, Raza. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hey, Shane R. Raza. Mm, wow. Yeah. I got cataracts, too. Well, that sounds nice, Aria, there yet. Heading out by the campfire. I love that. Well, thank Enjoy you for that. Thanks thank for you. coming in with us. Saying hi. <laughs> Look at there. That was mine. Another <laughs> word of the day, yeah. You stole her. You stole his. No, he. That's why he's here tonight. Oh. This is the word of the day. <laughs> mine was mayonnaise. 
Oh, there you go. Yank, Yank. okay, got it. Yank, okay, got it. Yank, okay, got it. <laughs> Southern word should be mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, Ray from Chrissy. Awesome. Hey, awesome. Thanks Welcome. Thanks for raiding us. Woo woo. We need to go first. We don't see any first place. Huh? We'll go Roy and Becky. Oh. Well, I had mayonnaise. Well, Man, Rush is taking it. Yeah, right. <laughs> put it in the sentence. Well, I have to go put, say, uh, you know, mayonnaise and put on the bread, mayonnaise. But mayonnaise and big tires on that truck over there. Yep. <laughs> um, That's a good one. That's it. Yeah. Southern I got a, I kind of got another one. But. Oh, you, you, you want to wait? Well, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, one my my family always used was hose pipe. You know what a hose pipe is? I have no idea. It's a garden hose, the green garden hose that you. Okay. Yeah. My whole family down south and all the southerners that moved up north, we always called it hose pipe. People always looked at us kind of weird, especially oh. when you go to the store. Tell you, I need a hose pipe. Get the hose pipe out. It's a good The hose pipe. The hose pipe. Looks like Kenny's ready. He's ready for it. Okay. Mine is lollygag. Lollygag. Um, do we have something to use it? Uh, if I, if I lollygag about getting fans and I will never get uh, fans in here to cool this place off. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no lollygagging no around. Lolly <laughs> no, yeah, lollygagging. No lollygagging. Uh, I, I have heard of that one. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Right. What's that? Hey. Somebody's talking. Yeah. Somebody's got to go. Um, if we drop off, we'll be back. Our battery yes. full oh, charge. The winner here. They'll tell you who the I'm, winner is. I'm on Turner. Gagging around, Kenny. Yeah, now we're looking for <laughs> chat winners. Yeah. Winners. Uh, All right, let's see. Not a southern word. What's up with that? Why is 50 degrees too cold for a fire in the spring, but not in the fall? Right? I don't understand. Yeah, what is up it. with that? And why can you put short pants on in the spring, but when it's 60, but when it's 60 in the winter, you don't put no short pants on? What's that about? <laughs> uh, but, well, we've done our eight. We've done eight our fiddles tonight. <laughs> tonight, and done our work. For work for the day. week. For the week. For the day. For the day. <laughs> Does it not work for the day? Okay, there's that mayonnaise one again. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Some good looking people on here. <laughs> <laughs> mayonnaise. Some good people in there. Good, good looking people, people in here. here. I, I like, like that. that one. That one's cute. Uh, kind of like shorts weather. 40 degrees in the springs, but 60 in the fall. Right? <laughs> it's kind of funny that way. Vittles is what he meant to say instead of fiddles. Vittles. Yeah, I knew, I knew that's what it was. Yeah. Vittles. Someone saying hello to Shane. Uh, my general is usually dad, dad gummit. gummit. I know, dad, dad gummit. gummit. <laughs> Or, I say dad burn it is what I say. Or dag nab it. Dag nab. I say dad burn it. That's what I say all the time. Dad, dad burn, burn it. it. <laughs> Holy smokes. 29 Ooh, degrees. That's too that's cold. That's way too cold. That's too cold. This is supposed to be like, well, I guess it's not summer. It's, 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 it's a spring. Where, where are you at, Baba Rush? It's right. Yeah. 29 degrees. Wow. Way up north. 
What in the Sam Hill is going on here? I know I say that too. What the Sam Hill? Sam, how y'all been doing? All right. I don't know. I'm looking. One. We're picking our winner here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got our winner for the chat. Go. Even though you stole Roy's, but that's okay. You that's got okay. it first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did he answer? Steve, words? you came in second place. Yeah, Steve, you came in second. Yeah, that's some good saying. Hey, you me v. I was just trying to figure out. Bama Rush answered where he was. No. No, but um, I, call me Way Kenny. hotter in Canada. Thirty-nine degrees in Canada. Dang, Kenny. That, now that's not kill. that's not Fahrenheit. That I believe that's uh yeah, South Black Hills is like South Dakota. Uh yeah, that's that's it. Yeah. 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 I remember now. I guess I should have took that down, but oh well. All right. Oh way hotter in Canada at 39. That's a heat wave for Canada. Call me Vi. Welcome, welcome. I didn't catch you coming in. Got Mildred Ban Banlago. Ban Balago. Ban yeah. Hey, welcome, welcome. I think they're part of the raid coming through. Part of the raid coming in. Thank you for raiding us. Going green mom. 48 feels like 44 in Goshen. Ooh, no. And windy. I don't want cold Did you weather. get some of that storm last night, Going Green Mom? Ooh, it was maybe. up in that area. Yeah. Y'all keep it. Y'all keep that cold weather away from me. Yes. Right. Exactly. I don't know none of that. None of it. It's raining all around us right now. You can see it in the sky. Oh, wow. Dang. That's what it was last night with us. It was like it, it was coming toward us, and then it kind of just it's kind of split skirted off. away and didn't even come here. That was like when we was in Texas. This really big storm was coming. And we were like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. And there was this little tiny area, and that's what passed us where there was nothing. What? I know it was like a little break in between the storms there. And it, it That's perfect. what hit us. That was the one we were at Tawakin. Tawakin, it was supposed to be really bad tornadoes and high winds. The question is, who is Sam Hill and why does he care so much about I what's know, going right? on? Who is Sam Hill? Right? <laughs> Good morning, Mildred. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks yeah, for coming in. in. Philippines. Yeah. It's finally 88 degrees here. Okay. Oh, to an Earth Day celebration. That's yes. so awesome. I was trying to think of something for us to do. Like, there's a couple of campgrounds around here. Maybe go and help clean up or something. I don't know. Chrissy Ray, welcome. Call me by. You've got to get got to get a dancing, Kenny. Yeah, get the dancing, Kenny. They want to see. <laughs> like, oh, ain't happening. Thirty nine in Alberta. Woo, that's too cold. 39. 39 degrees, too. Y'all must be somewhere near each other. Ryan's. Oh, Katie, B. V. Not by. V, v. not by. Sorry Tell about that. V. Thank you. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm terrible. You know, when I was a teacher, I was terrible at it, too. So. I know it. <laughs> I'd have to say, can you say your name? And some of the kids had to say it like 10 times before I got it right. Okay, that's good going, Green Mom. Looks yeah. like you went south of them. Oh, that's so good. Tomorrow is free. Oh, yeah. You said something. Uh, about yeah, this free the other day. National free, Park. Free National Park Day tomorrow. Yeah. Got one near you. Go, go, go. Our closest one's a few hundred miles away, so we're fine. <laughs> yeah. How's everyone tonight going? Have a great night. Oh, oh yeah. Thanks. Thanks All right, for coming Ash, in. RB Ashes in April. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate it so Thank much. Oh, I'm going to say that earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Miss, Mystic Bunny, we got rain last night. Oh, wow. That's a oh, lot of rain. An inch. A good bit. 
Oh, the green weeds, green weeds are drying out. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, but it's not really green here anymore. No. It's like it's starting to look like perfect again. Y'all gonna start really getting warm here. Yeah, any day now, right? Yay. All right, we're gonna think about what you have for dinner now. Oh wait, where did Kenny go? Oh, Kenny's supposed to do this one. Yeah, this is Kenny. Kenny's. This is Kenny's segment. <laughs> Kenny left us. We'll have to wait on him. Hey, yeah, I am gonna play this. I want to play this because if anybody didn't know, it's a, it's a, was it yesterday or day before, it was uh, Nettie's birthday. Oh yes, uh, yes, yes. I think it was yesterday. Or day before. Hey. Oh, I mixed yeah. up all my days. I think it was yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. So my sister's was the day before that. April. There's a lot of birthdays in April for. I know. Yeah. yeah. And my sister's was and our grandson. Uh, our grand, yeah, grandson, yeah. So I'm gonna play this for Nettie, and I know she'll get to see it on the uh, replay. Replay. <laughs> Birthday, Happy Nettie. birthday, Nettie! Hope you had a great day yesterday. Yes, you got spoiled. And we miss you. Yes, we miss you. Catherine Cook, 70 degrees here in Snowflake, and the sun just went down. That's like perfect weather, 70. Yeah, 70 is awesome. Love that. Be saying hi. Uh, usually kid duty Friday nights due to my wife working, but my toddler is almost three years old and she's starting to get right. <laughs> and then once you get them past that two, you got it going on. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot easier. Not to crash. Not oh, to get some sleep. All right, awesome. And then we took a nap today. Yeah, I hadn't took a nap in forever. We actually took a nap. Today we did. My sister-in-law and grandson are on the 17th. My kids, other mom is today, and my sister and I tomorrow. Happy, oh, happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday, going green mom. Yeah, and all the other people. Happy birthday. Happy birthdays. Youngest is next Friday. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. What's the worst thing you can say when visiting a southern house? I'm not, not hungry. hungry. Yeah, buddy. Cause let me tell you. You know what the second worst thing is that you can say? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's that? You eat your grits from a box. Oh, do not <laughs> eat grits from a box. <laughs> yeah, you will be disowned immediately. Right. For sure. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, and Green Mom, I don't know how you can. You had good grits. If you had good grits, you would mind. Yeah, I don't know how you can go all American only. I don't know how you can do that because it's really impossible. I don't know. Has anybody else tried to go all American and only buy all American? It's tough. There's so much out there that's... Even the stuff that's made in America has stuff in it that's not, not made, made in America. America. I mean, it's yeah. just assembled here. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard. Well, Kenny, are you going to come back? I know. <laughs> long break his neighbor probably came back asking for a cup of sugar or something <laughs> i hope he's got his yeah. pants on yeah he said he did just said to him pants. i guess we yeah. could go out of order i guess we're just gonna go ahead and do it and get out of order otherwise we're gonna run out of time i know i don't know even though kenny's not here kenny kenny back yet she ain't back so we're gonna we'll go first yeah we've been like trying to only eat out once a week you know so we went out to eat again today 
We ain't been to the <laughs> We ain't been to the Golden Crown a long time. So we went to the Golden Crowns and we ate too much. Yeah, ate way more than I ever we should have. Went there, but it was good. I got my normal. I actually had meatloaf. I had made meatloaf in forever. Yeah, over. they have. I love fried chicken. They had little chicken wings. Yeah, yeah. fried chicken. Okra. Catfish. I think it's catfish. Had That's okra. what we had. We, we had, had Golden Crow. Golden Crow was so good. <laughs> hey, hey! There's our oldest son popping hey, in here. Hey, Chris! Hey, Dallas! granddaughter popping in which goes to bed and i do my homework yeah he's going to get his cpa and yeah, he's in CPA school till County. november yeah <laughs> and dallas has soccer tomorrow send me a videotape uh, she's learning to do soccer she's a basketball player you know so she's so good at that we got a little right. short on her doing her little getting her little hoop in all right all right roy and becky i guess because kenny ain't back yet kenny ain't back yet what y'all have, have for dinner, dinner? well Lulu's over here right now, staring at us, asking us the same question. <laughs> yeah, so we forgot to feed him. We're before. running out of time. But what was for dinner? See, what we had was cheddar brats and tater chips. Yep. Ooh. Some quick and easy for Friday night. Good. I know that we haven't had good. brats in forever. We haven't had brats in forever. You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wait, maybe they were sausages. What was the difference between a brats and a sausage anyway? Yeah. No, I, don't know. I have no the idea. On it, maybe? Maybe the I don't know. I don't know. Where the heck Please, is it? All right. So, in chat, let us know what you had for dinner tonight. The dog is having a hard time. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, real Robert Rockwell had chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn. Ooh. I love Ooh. some chicken. I love some I don't know potatoes. what it is. Lately, I've been craving chicken. Chicken, I, don't, I know. I just, yeah. Fried chicken, too. It's <laughs> not good, healthy chicken. <laughs> and going green mom three servings of black olives three or four hams mm, yum yeah. two corn tortillas with lettuce green onion and the last two ham slices some crackers spaghetti had a smorgasbord i know all like, kinds man, of stuff spaghetti that sounds good. And milk. That sounds good mm, mm, sounds good oh and she's saying, saying hi, hi to chris, chris and Dallas. good luck tomorrow on your little day of the game mm, brought worse Good and oh. Mystic Bunny. Hey, she also had chicken, chicken and, and mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo oh, like, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Refrigerator clean out. Hey. I know what you're talking about. We'd be going through that right now because we're just trying to get everything kind of organized in the freezer and stuff. So we're eating a lot of <laughs> random <laughs> stuff. Random. <laughs> hey, but I made chicken nuggets. Have you ever made chicken nuggets the way they make them at uh, um, Chick fil A? So you brine them in uh, milk and pickle juice all day. That turned out pretty good last that night. Really good. Yeah, last really night. good chicken yeah. eggs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, chicken yeah. Like chicken yeah. or strips. Strips is what you get. Yeah, I get strips. They do the strips the same way? Yeah. They brine them in uh, pickle juice and milk. Steve had salad and roast beef. Ooh, roast beef. Sounds yum, good. yum. Oh, look at Bama Rush had jambalaya jambalaya we hadn't had good jambalaya in a long time it's been a long long time i love jambalaya i ain't no good at making it i've tried to make it i ain't no good at it <laughs> and i have chicken in the freezer to mill prep, maybe? <laughs> meal prep. Yeah, yeah i have a lot of chicken in the freezer. that's why i'm eating a lot of chicken we'll be right back we're gonna feed these dogs i know because it's kind of like a all right. It's kind of like a, almost like a buttermilk scent. Yeah, it's pickle juice and milk, and you leave it in there all day. Some people say leave it all night, but I just did it all day. I put it in there and left it all day, and then you can um, make a egg and flour thing if you want to, and I air fried mine, but it's really, really good and flavorful. It was, it was good. Yeah. Ooh, making Alfred with canned chicken and whole corn right now. I know. I want try that canned chicken i see it on sale a lot it looks it's already done i've never tried it well, it's been a good more morel mushroom season so far oh okay a curdled mess <laughs> i know right i don't know it doesn't curdle no it just sat in the refrigerator i put in the refrigerator all day in that meal oreo sounds, sounds good, good to, i know <laughs> anything oreo sounds good right <laughs> Yeah, lots of good food today. 
I suppose Kenny will have to tell us later. Yeah. Because <laughs> this was he Kenny's done, segment. He didn't disappear. Again. He's probably chasing that cat around. I know. He's got to go find that cat. Ever made mushroom gravy with the morels? No. I'm not a good gravy maker either. Don't tell anybody in the South that I'm not a good gravy maker, but I struggle. Fried up some last night with dinner. Oh, that sounds good. The roast beef sounds good, not the Brussels sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do Brussels sprouts. I know I got Brussels sprouts in the freezer. I'm going to have to figure it out. I'm going to have to eat them all by myself. He won't eat them. So uh, I'm going to eat those up and get some room in the freezer before we head up north. Yeah, we got to restock before we head up. Yeah, I'm just trying to eat yeah. the older stuff the, so we put some new the, stuff in. The bad thing is, is we like to go to the commissary, and the nearest commissary here is over in Clark Clarksville. Clarksville which is about a two, two and a half hour drive. But there's a pizza ranch on the way. <laughs> there's a pizza ranch. On the way. Yeah. Oreo sounds good, but I was good good and put the sweets back. Yeah, you're the smart. Order in so look week. here. I've been buying them Walmart Oreos, you know, for a while there. The fake ones. And then I bought a bag at the commissary of real Oreos. You can really tell the difference. I was oh, telling yeah, myself you couldn't, but you can tell the difference. There's Damn real Oreos taste way better. <laughs> 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 I've been lying to myself. <laughs> but that was only two dollars for that big old pack of cookies, you know, and it lasted us for a month. So that <laughs> was a good deal. Hey, Kenny's back. Probably. Kenny, what's for dinner? Yes. You missed your whole segment. I I heard y'all though. Uh, <laughs> I had to go get rid of some liquid and I also had to make a fresh pot of coffee. Oh, yeah. I you always have coffee. All right. Well, yeah. now, now it's your turn, Kenny. What would you have What'd for you have dinner? dinner? I had barbecued Vienna sausages. Ooh. You and I had some chips. And I, I had some marshmallows. What? Marshmallows. That sounds yes. good. So, now, do you buy the Vienna sausages already barbecued or did you barbecue them? And they were already uh, in the can, the, the, the ones that already barbecued. Oh, and I also, had some, uh, I also had some mozzarella cheese with it as well. Ooh, See, because I love Vienna sausages. I'd have to try that barbecue one. That might be good. <laughs> well, See, they have barbecued uh, Vienna sausages. They also have... Uh, um, Um, the hot sauce ones, yeah. Oh, wow. uh, the ones that's got like yeah, actual nice. hot sauce in them. I've never seen that one, yeah. I've seen the barbecue ones before, but I've never seen and, the, uh, that. I, I think it got different, uh, and uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I've, I've seen some others too, but I can't think, huh? Yeah, and, uh, I, yeah. I agree, Steve. Real men don't eat Brussels sprouts. <laughs> he don't. He don't like. He don't like Brussels sprouts. He don't like them. What's them long green things? The Trisha makes all the time. Asparagus. Yeah, he don't like oh, that either. Man, I, I love asparagus. I do too. I like it candy. Yeah. No. He don't eat none of that. But the 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 bad part I don't like about asparagus is that when you go to the bathroom, it's gonna make your pee stink. <laughs> That's too funny. Praise a lot before they send it. Yeah, I don't know about I don't know. that. We're talking about the pizza ranch. The pizza ranch, yeah. That's a play, good place to eat. It's they started. At, I don't know. We first seen them. They were up in toward the northwest. Northwest. Like out Montana. Montana. South Dakota. Yeah, South but Dakota. They actually opened one up just north of Nashville. Yeah. Over and it's here. a they're a Christian um, run place. And they play good music and yeah. Yeah. you can go up and say whatever kind of pizza you want, and they'll make it and put it on the bar. And they got fried chicken on the bar. I <laughs> love lima beans. I do too. I like I like lima beans too. I love really? lima beans. Lima beans. That's, not, beans. that's something that, uh, that my dad don't like, but I like. Yeah. Oh, it's a kid's bedtime. Woo! Thanks All right, good night. In. Thank you, Bama Rush. We appreciate it. Have a good you. night, Bama Rush. It's good seeing yeah. you, Bama Rush. We're up in Memphis. Yeah, I think Hend didn't Hendersonville where Pizza Ranch is? Maybe. Henderson, what hey, is that? Hey, Tim and Ray, the king. 
I'm behind on chat. Yeah. Sounds like a single man dinner, Kenny. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, uh, well, see, when uh, a lot of times when I when yeah, I yeah, you finish some bill. A lot of times when I go and visit with my dad, I get fed there too. So, and a lot of times I don't feel like a whole lot of stuff when I come home and visit him. Yeah. So Brussels sprouts are excellent if you shred them through a mandolin, mandolin and mm. cook in butter and bacon grease with pork belly or bacon. Just saying. Sounds good. I'll, I'll just have to take your word for it. And I agree with Steve. Brussels sprouts make excellent compost. <laughs> <laughs> See, Hendersonville is where the pizza ranch is at. Oh, yeah. That's where they built the pizza ranch. It's just ranch. outside of Nashville for yeah. everybody else. We pickled right. with asparagus. <laughs> Oh, no, I like it baked something. I got to ask my daughter how to cook it. She one cooks it. I don't ever buy it because he don't eat it. Asparagus is good drizzled with oil and steak soup. Yeah, Trisha makes it real good, too. I don't know what she does, too. My daughter can cook good. She couldn't cook. didn't want to learn to cook for me, but now she cooks good. I don't know if I can do the I didn't like Brussels sprouts growing up because my grandma liked Oh, I can't stand lima beans. She, like, boiled them. Oh, I do like them. Oh, bar, bar, bourbon barbecue? Wow. I didn't know that. Hey, there's Timmy Ray. Hey, Timmy, hey, Ray. Timmy Ray. Welcome. Welcome, to welcome. welcome. And, Jan, what's the brine you use for asparagus? Got another pound that didn't get cooked. Oh, wow. I don't know how to brine Try the pickle juice and milk. I'm just kidding. Stir fry them <laughs> with the bacon. Yeah. Post us sheets are good that way. Yeah, we're doing great, Timmy Ray. Doing great. Yeah, we're having fun tonight. Doing good. This way, just dill pickles is what we use, but any, any dill, dill pickle work. recipe works. I got a story with that stuff. Uh oh, uh -oh. here we go. We were canning dill pickles. Yeah. We used that Miss Miss Wages dill pickle stuff. It comes in a pouch. Yeah. I think you add vinegar to it. Yeah. And uh, I think you got to bring it to a boil. But anyways, you cook that first. And man, I love dill pickles. I love the smell of dill pickles. I took that lid off that pot and I stuck my head in that pot oh, and yeah. I got me a big old whiff of the dill pickle. <laughs> oh my gosh, my sinuses were clean for the next 10 years. <laughs> my eyes watered. Oh man. I remember that. My name was sit down. <laughs> yep. Moosey, I see your tail. Whoosh. See, mother, yeah, it's a pretty good day. So now you go really better good. than normal, usual. Now. That's good. Mother used to make, I don't know, I've always liked lima beans. I, I I have to. My grandma used to make all that stuff for me. Beans, I can't even find I didn't like lima beans. I oh, can't. Lima beans. That's the same with me. Mom used to make us eat them all the time. She loves them. I can't stand them. I'll eat them because she wants them, but. Yeah, but we figured out pro that problem. We just buy the can for me. Yeah, so we'll buy her a can of lima beans, and I'll get a can of pinto beans. <laughs> there you go. That works. I like them both. I can eat all. I can eat all those kinds of beans. <laughs> Fiddleheads. I've never heard of. I've never heard of fiddleheads. Yeah. We call them butter beans. Mom did. Butter beans. Butter beans. Because she yeah. had some butter beans today. Yeah. At the, yeah. Those are my, we don't call them. Mom called them lima. She called them butter beans. Butter beans. We could pack a cold pack a clean jar and pour hot brine over them, put lid on ring oil, and it will seal if left for a few hours. Okay, Dang. there you go. Oh, Timmy Ray watching some wrestling. Mid South, yeah, right? Mid South, wrestling. And Dad liked John Ravine. All right. Nice. Caught up on the chat. Woo. We're going to move on to yeah. this yeah. day in history. In, in 1775, American Revolution begins at Battle of Lexington. So it's only one year fight? And not in Kentucky. 
Yeah, not in Kentucky. <laughs> not in Kentucky. Here, Mr. Bones was just saying the fiddleheads are the early curled shoots of the fern. Oh, okay. I didn't know you huh. could eat that. Cool. All right. I'm going to go back. In 1809, Thomas Jefferson sails indentured servant to newly elected President James Madison. Okay. So, Wait, uh, slave, right? I, I, well, an indentured service is someone that's supposed to, isn't that someone that agrees to work with you while they pay off like a debt or something? Yeah. How the heck did he sell the indentured service? I don't know. Huh. Sell the contract, I bet. Yeah, oh, maybe. Oh, maybe okay. turn him over to that so he can pay his debt off. Huh. Cool. Cool. All right, and 1824, Lord Byron dies in Greece. Who's Lord Byron? Lord <laughs> Byron, no one knows. Willie drives an escort. I was going to say, who that? Who that? Who is that? Who that? <laughs> who is Lord Byron? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about the color, but who was he? <laughs> <laughs> he did. He gone. Right, in 1861, first blood in the Civil War. Yeah. You think that's true? Right. Nope. 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 Yeah. They fought that they fought that war seventy three years before they fired the first shot. Yeah. That'd been boiling up to that point though. The senator that probably got beat on the Senate floor was probably the first actual blow at it. Yep. Wow. Okay, Going Ring Mom says he's an author and a poet. Oh, I Lord, Byron. Who Lord Byron was. Oh, oh. Never heard of him. Oh, yeah, that's well, wonder what he wrote. Beyonce was found dead this morning. Nah, -uh. I hadn't heard that. I hadn't heard that. That ain't made social media yet. Wow, that'll be sad for a lot of people. They like her. I know it. Wow. All right, next one. Okay, 1897, first Boston Marathon held. My boss ran the Boston Marathon. She did it in three hours. I forget. It's her, not her best time, but she ran it. She was so excited to run it. I didn't know the Boston Marathon was around that long. Yeah, I didn't know it was that old, but she ran it this weekend. Oh, yeah. That's, I that's was old. shocked when I found that out. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Someday, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think I could do it because I was training for a half marathon. I was like, oh, I could do it. I don't know now. No, half marathon was enough. Now, half marathon was quite enough. I've done two of those. I've only done one and a 10K. <laughs> Okay, 1919, discussion of the Italian claims begins at Paris Peace Conference. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? I don't know what the Italian I, discussion of Italian claims, I don't know. I guess I don't know enough about the peace, Paris Peace Conference. I don't know what that means. Anybody know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. I know, right? I They discuss pizza for all I know. Right? <laughs> right? I don't know what the Italian claim is. Maybe those I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. All right. 1943, Warsaw Ghetto Uprising begins. So this is over yonder in the, right before the war starts, right? 42, 43? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's, that's over, over by where the, uh, yeah. In Poland. In Poland. Where the, where the, um, Jews were in there, and they were, yeah. I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm the ball and cap era. <laughs> I thought yeah. the war, I thought the World War II started in '41. I thought it's '41 too, but maybe this was just when this happened. Maybe they didn't get into Poland until '43. Maybe. I don't it did start in like '41 though. Yeah. All right. In 1956, Grace Kelly and Prince Rainier of Monaco marry in wedding of the century okay of all the 1900s it was the wedding <laughs> nah they didn't come to ours right <laughs> that's hilarious the wedding of the century yeah, we had the reception of the century right <laughs> 1971 vietnam veterans against the war demonstrate so the veterans demonstrate was the war over that's pretty close to when they pulled them out ain't it 71? Well, I, I was born that year 
I don't know. I was in the elementary when they oh ended the gosh, war. Oh my gosh, I was seven years old. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember on the, all of it. I then. don't know. I don't remember exactly when they. We should have. We just saw it at the. We did just see it. We was at the LBJ library. We seen something on it. But dates don't stick in my head right here. Yeah, that must have come afterward. Green, green I know. Mile. I thought it was Princess Diana and Charles. I thought that was the way in the century. Yeah. Mystic Bunny thought the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right, 1989, Central Park jogger attack shocked New York City. Central Park jogger. How do you remember that? I'm trying to vaguely, I don't uh, vaguely remember. I don't know. There's a lot going on in New York now, and they don't seem very shocked about it. But anyway. Well, uh, Robert uh, Rockwell says it ended in 75. 17 and 75. So, yeah, so that's what I was thinking. I was thinking 73, but 75, man, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. For sure, for sure. And 1993, Waco siege ends. Branch Davidian compound burns. I remember that. I remember that. And then <laughs> you know that, that um, Waco now, because of Magnolia, it's much better. I think they helped revive that town. You know, Joanna and Chip from that one show. I don't know if anybody watches that. Picture Robert. Upper. They really revived that town and made it like a tourist attraction and brought it back to life. Because it had such a bad connotation after that whole Davidian thing. Was the shock someone was jogging? I know, maybe that was the shock. I don't know. Uh, no, they probably got attacked. All right, and the last, last day one. in history. In 1995, the Oklahoma City bombing. I do remember I that. I do remember that. Wow. That was the same day that the Waco ended? No. Uh, yeah, because it said that the oh, two years difference. Siege ends. I'm just saying the same day. Oh. Not the same year. Same okay. day. I think the wedding of the century, though, uh, in them years was Luke and Laura when they got married on General Hospital. I skipped school to go watch that wedding. Don't tell my teachers I did that because I wrote a note. I mean, my parents, I mean, my parents wrote a note. But my parents wrote a note. <laughs> I think my mom skipped work that day. <laughs> I did. I watched that wedding. That was the wedding of the century. Hold on. <laughs> Do you know Laura is still on General Hospital? That original yeah, character. Is so. What? Same person, yeah. Every That's the only one left now, ain't it? General Hospital? I don't know. Yeah, no, there's there some other ones little ones left. Bold and the Beautiful, and um, there's another one. Used to be Ryan's Hope, General Hospital, all my family. All my children. All my yeah, children. All my children. On ABC, on ABC, the only one left is John What was one my sister always watched? Yeah, mom just watched ABC. Yeah. The Guiding Light. Guiding Light. Then it moved to CBS, I think. There's a couple of those still left, but I don't know. I don't watch those, so I don't know. (laughs) Then there was one that had the hourglass. Days of Our Lives. Days of Our Lives. Days of Our Lives. lives. I think that one's still on, Days of Our Lives. We ain't coming out. I don't know. Laco's pretty cool now, though. We've been there twice. And they got this place where you can go see the mammoth, like it's a dig site where they dug out the. It's not a woolly mammoth. It's a. It's a different mammoth. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It was another mammoth. What kind of mammoth was it, Earl? Colombian mammoth. It looks like a woolly mammoth, but it's called a Colombian mammoth. <laughs> That's <laughs> the dig site. And that was really cool to see. We got a video out on if you want to watch it for your homework tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, huh? them people watching the homework. Oh, <laughs> they can watch the woolly mammoth video, but it's not a woolly mammoth. <laughs> it's it's, not, it's I think it's a Columbia it's mammoth. A timing thing, I think. Four twenty was Hitler's birthday. Oh yeah. And stuff like Columbine, but a lot of times it falls on a bad day to feel like. I know four twenty is this big day or something. I didn't even know what it was, but everybody in my work did. I don't know. I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. Hmm. Coco Vet was in vet school. He came to check the dogs there looking for survives. Huh. I don't know what that means. Me either. Mm-hmm. You know. still awake, Kenny? You still there? Yeah, I'm still awake. <laughs> yeah, anything good happened on April 19th, anybody? Huh? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'm not asleep yet. You're not asleep yet. 
I didn't get no memories come up. Did I, even go? I went to Facebook today because we were at the gas station. You know, sometimes your memories come up. <laughs> I didn't have no memories come up today. No. <laughs> Nothing happens on the stage. Those memories come up very rarely for me anymore. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Hello, people. Hey, we got some people with us. It's so good. Thanks for sticking around. I know it's my birthday. My dad's was 9 11. Oh, yeah. I can see how that's really hard. Yeah. 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 Mm. My mama has a birthday coming up the 30th of this month, but she's she's done passed away herself. Oh, wow. oh okay. I mean, now that's what now I know Catherine was talking about up there. She was talking about that Oklahoma, Oklahoma bombing, bombing. And the dogs that were coming in looking for the survivors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, actually have, I actually have my mama's ashes right over here at the next to this table right here. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I remember that Oklahoma bomb. That was crazy. That whole front of that building. The building way it like gone. It out. I used to do guard duty at that building when I was in stationed at Fort Sill. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. The year before that happened. Oh, thank goodness you weren't there then, right? Hey, Camping Therapy. Welcome. Hey, welcome. welcome. Hey, Thanks. Camping Therapy. Two years. Two years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My yeah. kids' other mom's birthday is today. Oh, happy birthday! <laughs> hi, hi. What's right. hi? Yeah, yeah. Well, so we, chit -chat. Move, we move on to some chit chat. Chit chat. Chit -chat. Before you run out of time, time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how the heck Nettie. How she manages her, all this squat. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. A man about to be executed in the electric chair be saved if he had a heart attack. <laughs> this sounds controversial. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> I keep my water. Well, depends on who's paying the electric bill. <laughs> right. <laughs> I keep my water and take that. I think it would depend on the situation. I think it shouldn't be safe. <laughs> I for an eye. I mean, Cost right. the taxpayer more money. Well, that's right. what I mean. Because you're going to have to pay the doctor to survive him and then electrocute him. I mean, you know. Real Robert Rockwell says no. Yeah. <laughs> Mystic Money says no. Waste of money. That's what I'm saying. Save on the electric bill. Yeah. yeah well, thanks for the savings. Right. I mean, you know, hey, we didn't have to turn a machine on today. Could that be considered bad luck for the guy? The I know, person? right? You knew I was like, dang. You're about to die, so forget it. I'll just have a, just have a heart, a heart attack. attack. Yeah. Maybe that would be less painful than <laughs> Do they still use electric chair? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Put them in the chair and you hit the button. There's a chance you're going to revive them. Yeah. Oh yeah, the electricity yeah, yeah. going through them. Yeah. No. Hey, have you seen the Green the Mile? Switch. Yeah. No, the Green Mile. You know when they put that, you need to put the water on the table. That was nasty. <laughs> Steve says no. Go ahead and zap them. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. A couple of them were saying that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't Zach be saving, saving him? I know, right? I don't know. <laughs> I keep thinking. Well, I see it as Lord Vita still. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, you know. In some states, some she says some states do. I know Washington quit doing yeah, it. Yeah, they do that lethal injection. Now. Yeah, they do the lethal injection. So I don't know. I say no. Because they don't hang people no more, neither, do they? I don't think so. I don't think they hang them. Oh, I think it's still an option, though. 
For who? Who gets to pick? <laughs> Some states you get to pick your way the way you get executed. Oh wow! Wow! I want it quick and easy. Just do I it. Know, right? <laughs> when was the last hanging the in the United States? Less painful. Yeah, way. less painful. I don't want to know nothing. Last hanging in the United States. Are you ready for this? Yeah. January twenty fifth, nineteen ninety six. Wow, that's pretty recent. What, what? And it was still hey. authorized in Delaware and Washington. Oh, at that time. time. At that time. I have never. Oh, at that time. At that time. Okay. And I don't know about this next question. Oh, no. Nettie, Nettie, what are you doing? I know. What's she thinking tonight? Uh, <laughs> what do you usually think about while you are on the toilet? <laughs> 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 well, I'm thinking about getting the business done. <laughs> I'm thinking about what Nettie was thinking about. <laughs> Every time I go, I'm gonna think on this question. <laughs> Yeah, now we're going to be thinking of Nettie every time we go. Nettie every time. Nettie, what are you thinking? What are you talking about? A firing squad. You can do a firing squad or a leaf on Jack. Well, uh. Uh. Thinking about what I want to find on my phone because it's usually with me. Yeah. Yeah. I would say for. For, for me, uh, concentrating on getting my business done. Exactly. <laughs> right. right. To keep my cat from falling off the washing machine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, Steve Mel must have come up with these questions. I, I, I sometimes, I sometimes am. I, I sometimes am on the phone in the back. Sometimes I'm in there talking to my girlfriend. Oh, what? Oh. what? Tell us more, yeah. Kenny. What's her name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, she asked me, she said, what, what are you doing? I said, well, you caught me in your own door again. <laughs> <laughs> What's your girlfriend's name? I'm not going to say. Uh-oh, going green mom's gonna have nightmares. I know, right? <laughs> Who's on first? I don't know. Third base. Third base, I don't know. Oh, hey Scott. Hey, thanks hey, for welcome, coming in. Welcome, coming in. We appreciate you coming to say hi. Anybody else any other questions on that right. show? It's like, yeah, move on. <laughs> We've well, pooped. Now let's move on. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> Are eyebrows also considered facial hair? They're on your face. Yeah. That's what I hair. I ain't got none no more. <laughs> I would say yes. I, I got a little yes. bit left, but not much. Cause... Same with a mustache if you got a beard. Mine's trying to grow like beanstalks. His yeah, too. This goes out this way. No, I have no, to cut on them. No wait, they didn't used to grow like crazy until you started shaving them. No, you get older, <laughs> and the hair comes out the ears. I think older men they net less up here and more out everywhere else. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's one thing I inherited from my grandpa was his bushy eyebrows. Oh yeah, Roy yeah. fingers his grandpa quite a bit. Ooh, I shave them bad boys. I just take all that off. I can't handle it. <laughs> I see people on TV and I'm like, I want to go shave theirs. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I pray on the toilet. Oh, there you go. Hey, can I do in the middle of the night when I can't sleep. Catherine says yes. <laughs> and uh oh. Yes, if you if you are missing the outer two thirds, it is an indication that you have thyroid. Yeah, I have thyroid disease. I have, I have that, Hashimoto's. But, but also had chemo. <laughs> she, she, yeah, she lost hers when she started had chemo. Yeah, I had Hashimoto's and, and chemo. It came back a little bit. But yeah, it's not, why not that a little bit. It's very. It's hard to see them. So that's why I like my glasses to come right there. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't bother me. He don't care. <laughs> it's just a damn me thing. Shaving eyebrows. No, I'm not no. Them. she don't shave them. She just trims it. 
Oh, oh yeah. Mainly because it grows in between. And, and it's sticking out long. So I take a comb and I run the razor on the comb. And I get all them wild hairs. The ones that are going. <laughs> I get Steve, all those. When you get old like me, when the barber asks, should I trim your eyebrows? Say, Say yes. yes. <laughs> See, that's what I do. I trim them. I trim them. I get the hair from his ears. And, and lately, it's been a couple in his nose right. I had to grab. He's like, don't pick on me. I like bold frames for the same reason. <laughs> I know, yeah, because it kind of hides it a little bit, right? No more coming in. No more comments on that. Okay. Mm. What? Oh, okay, my gosh. Next, next question. No. <laughs> Have you ever been tempted to sleep inside the fridge? I guess if you're in Arizona, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. If you're in court site in the middle of summer, you might have thought about it. Have <laughs> ever been tempted to sleep inside? Not yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only I could fit. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd say no on that one. Yeah, I'd say no all day long. <laughs> oh, here's from the last one. Jane says, my eyebrows thought they were a caterpillar. Right. Uh, I used to have to get them waxed. They were so big, but no more. <laughs> Mystic Bunny's like, nope. Nope. <laughs> I had the I had little Rottweiler bean eyebrows for years. Just started growing back. Oh wow. Catherine's like, nope. Nope. Well, I didn't have hair under my arm underarms till like two years ago. So and it and it's very little hair under my arms still. And then I didn't have no hair on my arms forever. And even now, it's hard to see the hair on my arms. <laughs> Only when it's 120 degrees. Right, I can see <laughs> yeah. that. If I was in Arizona, maybe I would think about that for Or jumping in a nice ice bath. Yeah. If you can't even turn the water on here without it being instantly hot. I know. I know, that's crazy. We that's had to put ice cubes in it when we were there. So even when we, I mean, I know it wasn't nothing like Arizona, but we were in Texas. Two yeah. weeks, three weeks, and it was 106, 108. Yeah. The, the stupid water coming in the RV was like lukewarm. We didn't even turn, yeah, we just turned on the cold we water. We didn't even have to shower. turn on the hot water heater. It's just Take like, a shower. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Here you got to put water in the fridge to cool the water off to take a shower. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Maybe in front of the fridge, but I would be in pieces to fit in my I head. know, we did have to chop me up. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's, I'm almost at 10 years. 2014, 14, 14, yeah. Yeah, I'm almost at 10 years. This, this fall will be. Well, I started in. My first one was December of 14. And then I ended in April. 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 Yeah. Of 15. Was it April? Or May? May. March. March. It was late March. Late March. Yeah. Early April, it was, yeah. A week after she finished chemo, my dad passed away. Yeah, I was going back for my blood count, and that went to the hospital. His dad got called in the hospital at the same hospital. That was the last one to talk to him before he went unconscious, which was really sad. Uh, I turn on our, uh, I guess I, I turn on our hot our water heater down to vacation mode in the summer. Yeah, I know. But you don't you even, don't even need, need it. it. Why? Why even bother? Yeah, right. The water's perfectly fine. All right. Male ballerinas are referred to as what? I didn't know there were male ballerinas. Yeah, male ballerinas. They lift them up and all that. You're just a ballerina, right? I didn't know. I have no clue. A dancer. A dancer. Oh. Male dancer. <laughs> male Chippendales. I don't know. Chippendales. <laughs> no, they rip clothes off. Is it Chippendales? Yeah. That, that's a cartoon name. <laughs> no, dear. There are actual men called Chippendales. Oh. But ain't there a cartoon Chippendale? Yeah, Chip and Dell. Oh, somebody's going to have to look at This is like chit chat. Like, we don't get the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Steve says gay. I have no clue. I never gave them a thought what their names were. I thought they were baller ballerinos, maybe? Definitely. Camp and three uh, uh, therapy. Yeah, we will keep Linda yep. or keep Linda in prayer. She's having biopsy soon. Uh, oh no, we pray. We'll definitely pray for her. Absolutely. So in Italy, they're called a ballerino. 
Yeah. That's what uh, Going Green Mom said, ballerina. Yep. In America, we just call them a male ballet dancer. <laughs> I've seen the Chippendales. <laughs> I've never seen that. I would giggle. I'm too. I can't. I, I didn't know. Great face. I can't handle it. I like Jane's answer. I, I didn't oh, know that was a Valor fellow. Valor fellow. <laughs> Valor fellow. What, Kenny? Sorry. I didn't know if there was a such thing as a male bell. Yeah, I've seen That's them because they seen. lift the girls up in part of those dances. Oh. Yeah. They're in a ballet. I don't know. That's, I don't know. That's what I think, Kenny. I, I didn't think there were. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Healing energy coming her way. Absolutely, oh, yes. Hey Tim, Scott, hey. welcome. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. I saw you went on a couple hikes. Hope you had fun. Okay. All which right. Side, this is a good argument right here. Which side of the armrest is really yours at a movie theater? Both of them. No, both of them are mine. Both. Both of them. Move it. Oh my <laughs> Get we off. put the drink in the yeah, middle. He takes we, both. Yeah. What a natural habit when you got a recliner at home. Why yes. do they even make that? That's another what's up with that. Why do they even put Why one arm on top of it? I know, right? They need a second one. But <laughs> we put the drink there. Because we got to share an arm person. If you're in the middle, you're really stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being in the middle. I know. I hate being in the middle because then nobody lets you have nothing. Yes. But yeah, we put our drink there because we share a drink usually at the movies. Yeah. Had a blast, awesome! Oh, that's so awesome. good. We got to do a hike here soon. Wait, Mystic Bunny says neither one, neither one. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's how I feel though because he'll take one, and if somebody sits by, they take it. I'm like, it's like on our plane. I'm like, well, that's well, why, that's why I like armrest. to sit on the end seat. <laughs> I like the end seats, and typically I'll take the right one, and our drinks in the middle, right? And, yeah, that's how we usually do it. It's yep, true. Yep. <laughs> Neither one, neither one. Yeah. Still got 22 in the house. Ooh, Ooh. Thanks for being here, everybody. Yeah. I, I would probably. So uh, there you go. Going Green Mom, if you're with their significant other, their, their leg, leg is. is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't hardly ever go to the movies. Sure. So. But I like the back half. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good. I, I would say probably both, probably. Yeah. That's what I say. They're both I mean, you got to like recline, you know. Too bad for you over there. It's mine. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. Oh, the, uh, hang on. I got one more comment here. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> my little alerts are popping up saying oh, I got comments. Lee, hey, welcome, Lee. Hey, Don't Lee. Hey, Lee. Fred yeah, Prince I remember that. Lessons to brew is bowling. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, remember that. I remember that one. I do too. <laughs> There's some football players that take ballet too. <laughs> Terry Bradshaw, first one, I think. Yeah. Becky, I'm yeah. currently unstitching. Unst yeah, I know the pain. I hate unstitching. <laughs> Both, unless you want to arm wrestle. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the going yeah. rings asking, why are you picking stitches? <laughs> The next I blame Roy right when I have to unstitch. Yeah. Because <laughs> a lot next of times he's trying to talk to me as I'm counting. Right. And then I get mad and I just put everything up. Yeah. Ooh. Made a mistake. They caught frogging. Rip it. Rip it. Yeah. I yeah. had to take it all yeah. out and get it to come it. apart. Knot it, it up. <laughs> but this next, this next speaking next. of stitching. She did find a thread source here in Quartzite, so now she don't have to go anywhere. Oh, That'll be good. Hey, we got some friends of ours today. The ones we spent in Paris uh, at the eclipse, they got a little RV lot down in uh, Port Aranis. Port Aranis, or however you say it, Port Day in Texas, and they go walking on the beach all the time. They find all kind of cool stuff. Yeah, and they found all kinds, you know, cool stuff. Today she posted. It was a big old bell. 
and they thought it was... Well, it looked like an Apple computer box. It looked like an Apple computer box. Right. And so they went to cut it open. It had white powder in it. So they had to call the police. <laughs> they called the police. And the police came out and said, yeah, it's probably cocaine. Because <laughs> it had been duct taped all up, you know, and it was still in the ocean. <laughs> And it said Apple on it. Yeah, it we had the like Apple. Like, like, <laughs> she thought it was an Apple computer. She's like, open it up. What's in there? Nope. That's crazy. She posted a picture of yeah, it. Yeah, it was on. a picture of it online. That's crazy. This next question is for old folks. Uh oh. Then I can't answer it. Why do you lower the volume on the radio when you're driving and looking up an address? <laughs> Wait, you do that, Roy. Like you do that. You did look. Hang on. I did it a I got to turn it down to read it. <laughs> no, when you're looking at the Dollar General, and as I was slowing down, I turned the radio down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do it all the time. So can hear it better? Can hear it better? So you can see where you're going better. <laughs> At least hear where you're going. <laughs> oh, frogging and crocheting. I guess. Um, I guess to concentrate on the direction that you're going. Because <laughs> so, the music's distracting I you. <laughs> I can only you can read better when you turn the music down. I, guess so. I don't know. Will you come to realize I have three lifetimes of oh, brother. That was a running joke. I tried. Yeah, it yeah. Is. So you can concentrate. I know, right? Yeah. Why do you turn it down? Right. Got yeah, it. that's a good one. The next one's good. Oh, is it? You got three more. Three more. This is funny. Why is this right? Why is it so difficult for women to apply mascara with their mouths closed? Yeah, because you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't. You got to have it up. I guess that's a question yep. for you. You got <laughs> I ain't got no eyebrow. Oh, what are eyelashes left either? My eyelashes is about gone too. So. <laughs> I don't know if I could put mascara on them. Oh, going green mom blast her radio if it's during a blizzard. Oh, does that make it better? <laughs> I don't want to drive in a blizzard. Has I, anybody ever tried to do mascara with their mouth closed? I can't answer this. <laughs> I've never done mascara. I mean, I I mean, I try. I can't answer this one either because I don't do that. <laughs> this one's for women only. I know. I I a long time. It's been, I used to wear it every day, and now I don't ever wear it. I don't, like it. Enough to know how. I don't hardly wear makeup. Me Maybe either. once a year. I find myself doing a lot of little tedious little things. I'm not, I'm not my mouth's open. Yeah. I'm not mascara. He'll stick his little tongue out the side sometimes. <laughs> and he's doing something that's funny. It make it just makes my glasses very right. Yeah. I, uh... All right, you better move on. Oh, uh, yeah. my girlfriend could probably answer that one, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you won't let us know who she is. So yeah, who was that? <laughs> <I> know, <right? laughs> what was her, her name? Her name again? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you made everything disappear. That wasn't good. All right. Don't double click on them. Don't double click. Oh, I, I don't even, I zero. No Kenny, zero. <laughs> yep, that is correct. You actually own. <laughs> Kenny, zero. Okay. Who counts their underwear? I mean, I no idea. Yeah. I probably got at least. <laughs> 15, you know what we've learned tonight? I don't know. Because when we get where's that court site, we didn't do laundry for like three weeks. So we got like 10, 20 pairs. That's what I say. I probably got 15 to 20 pairs. Yeah. I got, lot, I got the ones that I always wear, and then I've got a bunch in another drawer that I don't even wear anymore. So I got tons. I think we learned tonight what Nettie thinks about when she's on the pot. Right? Um, writing these questions, aren't you, Nettie? <laughs> Are you on the toilet writing these questions? We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I, I think it's hope, Faith. I turned it up 
with favorite Christian songs end up 20 miles over the speed limit. I know I've done that I've before. Done that. What? <laughs> like, praise the Lord. Yeah, Jesus got the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I own seven. I struggle to declutter underwear that cost over $100 that I've never worn. Although I will say yeah. this, I have had I have had a couple of bungee smugglers given to me by my Canadian friends. Oh, you talking about them banana sling things? Uh, <laughs> and uh, how many people are out there running and counting their underwear? I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't actually. I don't know because uh, we only have a few pair in the house, and the rest are out in the RV. We didn't bring everything in. <laughs> I just wonder because some of these answers have come in late. <laughs> I, I got nine pair. I got seven. <laughs> They went and I, counted. I have a lot because I don't have a washer. I have to wash when I run out. I know, right? That's what I, was I know. Of course, of course I, I go. We got to go do laundry tomorrow. I ain't going to wonder what else. <laughs> What's we'll hanging on drawers with? Nine that pairs drawers. we both have. Yeah. Never leave home without them. I know, right? Except for Kenny. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll leave home with that <laughs> money. Yep, that is correct. Ten away. She probably wrote that. this question for you. <laughs> oh, wait. Steve's still, yeah. still counting. Steve's still counting. Hey, Steve's still counting. Hold on. That is correct. <laughs> I, I've never counted. I, I have no clue. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to go. Y'all can see what's on Lou right now. Roy woke her up laughing. Oh, no. <laughs> She's, he is getting the look of death. Yeah. Hey, Kenny, is it is Hope Faith your girlfriend? Ooh. I'm not actually allowed to say. <laughs> we tried. We're trying. We're trying hard. <laughs> Jane, I went and got a two week supply to head to USA, and I needed an extra pair driving through something. I know that's some crazy traffic through there, ain't Salt it? Lake City. Good God. Yeah, they're bringing through there. Utah, yeah. Oh, no. They're not bringing up the car at that. Yeah, uh -oh. that inter Interstate 15 is nuts. Nuts. And it's, it's all night, by the way. Because You can burn two weeks of uh, supply up running up 17 in yep. Arizona here. I yeah. won't go up 17 either. Not happening. You can go ahead. I'll find an alternate route. Yeah. Two weeks supply going up and one week coming down. Yep. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just decided to replace all the old stuff. 2020 when Jay was making two times on normal lady time appointment. I needed to buy clothes because I had two shirts and two pants. Not beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We got extra stuff when we were home too. We got extra money. So I, I get what you're saying. All right. All right. Last question. The last right question. on time. Right on time. What have you forgotten today? I don't know. I forgot. I know. I forgot. What I forgot. I was supposed to answer that. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. If I forgot, how do I know? Did I now, if it was yesterday, you forgot your jeans. You almost went outside in your underwear. I did do that. Oh, yeah. Did I your underwear? Almost. Yeah, he almost did. I, had his boots on I haven't everything. done that in a long time. I put my shoes on, getting ready to get up, and Becky said, you can't go outside. I said, yeah, yeah I, I can. can. He said, no, you can't. <laughs> and he looks down, and he's like, oh, I I'd, have been, I'd have got the video camera out and be like, I'm going to do it the next time. I'm going to let him walk right on out. <laughs> All right. How many of you wear color-coded underwear? Color-coded? What does that mean? I don't wear color -coded. I don't know. I was I, little. I had the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, I, and I just wore whatever day. I thought that's funny. I'd wear the Tuesday I on the Saturday. I have different colored underwear, but I wear the Duluth because I love the Duluth. Yeah, he loves Duluth. But they're different color, but they're not color-coded. Uh, I just wear them whatever comes up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's on top of the stack. It became super extra because I quit wearing <laughs> uh, You got to drive Salt Lake at 3 a.m. Yeah. The that's, I don't know. There's still cars. Down. There's still cars. It was still all cars night. all night long. All night long. I was like, do they ever Right? Stop? I can't remember. I don't know. No, I can't remember either. <laughs> Probably more than I remember. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Yellow in the front, brown in the back. <laughs> yeah, you do want to make sure that. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know it's inside out. I forgot I had an appointment. I forgot oh, something. No. Yeah. That's not good. That's not good. Can't we forget well, that. he forgot the homework assignment, too, remember? 
Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah there you go. Now you got double homework. I have to I, I don't know. Yeah. You don't like them? I, I never did a kid in school. Pack it, Steve. Or I yeah. never did homework. At all. Roy, Roy never did homework in school? Nope. Got me in a lot of trouble, but still wouldn't do it. It was very rare for me to turn. If I turned a homework assignment in, my teachers threw a party just about. <laughs> the home actually rare. Yeah, right. Owner actually. When I, if I was the only reason I did homework is when I was actually forced into doing homework, and by being forced into doing homework, I had to carry an assignment sheet with me, and the teacher would write my assignment down, my homework. She would initial it, and then I would go home, do my homework, and then I'd have to show it to my mom and dad, and they would have to initial my assignments. And then he still wouldn't turn them in half time. Yeah. And just throw them in his locker. I got, I got paddled a lot for homework. <laughs> yeah, I can honestly say that uh, I was always one that would, uh, I, I would work on my homework every time. Uh, Every day from the time I got home until about way up in the morning, I don't only get maybe about an hour or two of sleep. That's the part I had an issue with. I, I spent all day in school. Do what, Terry? I didn't have time to do homework like that. Nope. I would do it like if I had homework given to me at that third period, well, during fourth period, guess what I was doing? I was doing homework for third period. <laughs> I mean, I spend all day in school. When I go home, that's my time. I know, it's mine. I, I, I'm not there to spend six more hours at home to do schoolwork that I was in school all day that you could have had me done. And our son, Dakota, was just like his dad. Oh, I, I hated it. Oh, my gosh. The fight was on as soon as he walked through the door. Just like yeah. his dad. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I can honestly say I never did refuse to not do homework. I always did my homework and I always turned it in. If only. No, I was never at school. Yeah. I didn't do that until after school. Yeah. Some in school, but not mainly after school. Well, all righty. It's about that time. I just put them up. Oh, the one about the homework. Yeah, about the homework. All right. All right, so y'all got homework, though, okay? We're real close to getting um. We are 128 hours away. So you need to watch a video this weekend. Um, And two, if you watch three videos, you get extra credit by Monday. At 1 o'clock, we go live. 1 o'clock Central. So if you watch three videos by one Monday, 1 o'clock, you get extra credit. Yes, and if you want those weren't here earlier... <laughs> Once we hit our 3,000, we're going to have another celebration Friday night. We're going to be doing giveaways. Uh, our goal is to get reach that 3,000 by the time we leave here around May 3rd when we head out of here north. Yes. So thank you to everybody yeah, that's watched our videos. Oh, goodness, and yes. thank you to everybody that was here tonight. And everybody that came in our chat, we so appreciate yes, that, helping we, us with our hours. We appreciate it. We really, really do. Yes. Thank uh, you next so week, much. Everybody should be back on the panel. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Where's oh, the cookie? Oh, oh I got one of those. man, I want the that. keyboards. That's a keyboard. <laughs> keyboard. Wow. Which? What is it? Chips. Oh, oh, M and M's. Wow. Oh man. I haven't seen those. See, those now I'm good. gonna have to go get a donut. What? <laughs> For breakfast tomorrow. No, making me hungry. <laughs> we don't have a dozen. I mean, we got a dozen in there. Not anymore. Well, okay, we got ten. <laughs> <laughs> for breakfast. All right. Other than that, everybody have a great night. Have a great yep. evening. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you, appreciate Kenny and Becky and Roy, in. for being yep. here with us too. Yeah. And we appreciate it. Everybody, take care. And night, everybody. Good night, night everybody. Good night.